Yeah, I actually... Like I think I this. I thought she was gonna say this, she gotta go. I actually, I actually gotta go. Crazy. You really <laughs> want to feel like you're dying real quick? Go anywhere. Just Delta Eight. Let's go. Say it with me. D C T. Bodega. C as in car. <laughs> well, for real though, they gotta stop buying me from the from the bodega. I had someone try recently telling me that uh, the best way to get their dab cartridges is just go to their any random bodega and ask them. They're not selling you real dab cartridges. That's an insane thing to do. That's a crazy thing to do. You hate yourself if you're doing that. You genuinely hate yourself if you're smoking bodega carts. It's definitely cancer. Fuck it, bro. Yeah, man. But if you want to sponsor the podcast, (laughs) yo, by all means. Oh, that's fine. By all means, we got you. Bodega carts, sponsor the podcast, please. Yo, if we get sponsored by bodega, oh my God. That's a New York tradition. That's a New York staple right there. I'll be sorry. What's up to these chopped cheeses, bro? Three ninety five on one hundred forty fifth in Saint Nick. Let's go, <laughs> yo! This is doped up and dying this Sunday morning smoke show. You got me, Kevin Sanchez. I'm just, I'm just pop out here. Then we got DC Williams, the incredible DC Williams, my comedy hero. <laughs> Made a made a on, cripple bro. stand up. That's a what fact. a that wild is true. guy! That is true. It's one of my. It is a favorite fact of DC. That's yeah. the new tagline of the show. Made a cripple that's, stand that's up. Such a, a, that's such a passive. My comedy hero. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so pat. You know when people see you nah, and they're like, really "Yo, is. what up?" Let me tell and you're like, "Yo, you be killing." And the other person's like, "Yo, I'm just trying to be like you one day, man." <laughs> wait, like, wait. Hey, I'll what the fuck did I'll that? Give you, I'll give you my favorite. You tell me if you can guess the person. All right, give me a handshake. Okay, give me a handshake. Hey, man, keep killing it. What'd what? you say? Keep killing it. Oh. Keep killing it. Yeah. I'm like, I don't I don't think you want me to keep killing it. Oh, you know when I do this? I, wa- I watch you walk up to everybody <laughs> at the party, shake their hand, and tell them to keep killing it. Right. <laughs> who does that? You mean a comic says There's that? a comic. Oh, yeah. What's the, who is it? There's only one person I could think of. Is this like a name dropping podcast? Jared Swartz. No, it's not Jared. It's Derek. It is. No, no. Jared Schwartz goes to every single person in the party. Right, 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 right. If you watch him, he'll say the same outro to everybody. Yeah, I think and I, it's one of the most things that <laughs> I don't know why it infuriates me, but it's just so like disingenuous. It's like walking up and like, hey, man, I love you. You know what? Hey, let me introduce you. Let me introduce you. Thank you. Thank you. Introduce our podcast. This is the young man with old man opinion. He calls himself the D way to comedy. The Chicago version. Oh, hey! Give it up! <laughs> hey! He doesn't want to be like that. Well, my man, young Dylan Negri. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thank Let's you for watching Doped Up and Dying. We got a fun episode today. And then to my left. What's it called? Doped Up and Dying? Yes. Doped Up. That's why. Oh, that's why we have. Uh, we have. Uh, it's, it's, it's a. It's, it's a vibe. It's a podcast. <laughs> yes. uh, 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 that's my favorite. When the guest goes, wait, what? What is this song? <laughs> hold up. Hey, uh, Andre's hold the dope up. Part. You're the dying part. <laughs> <Hold up. laughs> I thought it was just doped sense. up. So I'm like, no, what's the dying thing? Doped up and dying, oh, man. It's sponsored was... by fentanyl. <laughs> Introduce our guest. Yeah, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna get sponsored. Introduce by... us. I, well, first of all, bro, don't tell me what to do with this. <laughs> so uh, all, all of who who's the host? Dylan. <laughs> she doesn't know the name. <laughs> I started the podcast. I started the podcast with uh, somebody else, and then through I remember growth, when it was you. Yeah, yeah. through growth, uh, I added my two best friends, and then the and then and then I at one point was like, I don't want to keep leading the podcast. So I said, Kev, you be LeBron James. Okay. And I'll I'll be your uh, I'll be your Rob I'll be your Rob and your D Wade. You love, go you go do love. it. Cause uh, I, I like sitting here talking some shit, smoking some weed. He let him do the intros and all. So he he can drive the car. She's, she's I'll like, be in the passenger seat talking shit. She and, sounds she sounds like a mom watching the office. She's like, wait, who's the boss? <laughs> Who? Nobody showing like an old like, and you're, like, you're, your you're, mom you're a meme. Speaking like I'm not here. Are you blind? Is that why you're wearing glasses? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I feel like I'm showing like Corinne a meme. She's like, "Do you know these people?" I'm like, no, just laugh. It's I don't know them. Like, it's not how that, that works. That was mad disrespectful. The it, quote, Kevin. Yo, I'm, listen, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna try, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get through this. One last I'm time, waiting for you. Please. You no, said you do the intro your way. way. Let me tell you something. The Kev way might not always be the way. Is it the way? <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, I, sometimes so I just want to walk off the. I just want to walk off. 
I, I did it. I, I just want to walk without off. you. You guys, yeah. like, you I, I as an addict, I, what type of psychopath just sit with joints yeah. and not light them? <laughs> <laughs> That's the craziest shit. Yeah. I'm trying shit. to give like, you anxiety. That's I'm just telling you, like, <laughs> as an addict, like, uh, it's, that's insane to me. That's like that when someone crazy. has a drink in front of them and they're not drinking it. I'm like, are you out of your fucking mind? I'm doing my best dice clay impression. Right? <laughs> I was going to say, dice yeah, does that. Not he's like, like, he's he just doesn't like it. Maybe next week we can get these intros down to like, you know, six minutes maybe around on top. You know, about six, seven minutes you can hit. And quit showing Steve, up self control in front of her, bro. Yo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> quit doing that. That's, not that's so funny. Cool. Chloe can't deal with self control. Cool, like, are you just <laughs> half like, around you? I, no, I'm like, this is, it's like when people buy Coke and they're like, I'm just going to save the rest of the bag for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're a fucking psychopath. <laughs> we, we, there's right now. I'm like, do it all and then later <laughs> smoke crack. I'm like, be a fucking human. Okay, Commit but the reason why we haven't lit the joint yet, I'm assuming it's the same reason uh, he hasn't lit it, is because we, uh, we've now gotten uh, new rules. We are allowed to smoke in the studio officially. We've, really? We've even gotten comments being like, this show would, we just love to like to be able to smoke with you guys, because we smoked before the show. Come on, kind of fucks up a vibe a little bit. But uh, this is the first official joint of Dota Bandine in the yeah. Gas Digital Studios. Do you want to light it? Should Imagine light it? if it relapsed for, for Finish introducing <laughs> them. It's his intros, Natalie. He's not, I don't know what to do. I asked him, I go, you got the intros this week? He goes, I'm going to do me. They're like, what took you out, Chloe? I was like, doped up okay. and dying. <laughs> oh, this, this you just is, spilled the ass. <laughs> All right, these are our special guests. This is one of my favorite dudes What's in the up? world. Uh, met mine. him here at Gas Digital. Hilarious. Does shit all around this. Does all around the city, goes on the road. Uh, one of the hottest up and coming comedians, Andre Kim, dude. Hey, what's my, up, what's up, my what's shit, up, my uh, shit talking, homie. Uh, bing, bing, Andre, bing, bing, bing. I honestly didn't recognize you with your fucking sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> when you hugged me at first, I was like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Andre, dude. I didn't recognize you. Hey. Yeah, I was like, what oh, the? Oh, I was so Andre. confused. <laughs> and then the person God, sitting Jesus to his left Christ, is one of my. That's racist of me. I'm sorry. No, it's not. I did, I've it never seen weird. you with sunglasses on at the, like, I know. Is this a new look for you? No, well, in this studio, the lights are so bright, uh, it kind of fucks with my... <laughs> you know what how I mean? How are you? Good, how are you? Audrey, <laughs> Audrey, Audrey, Audrey. I have seen you since, like, governor. I know. Right? Yeah. Oh, wow, that was... Insane. You don't, uh... Dude, I'm fucking shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shot too. And also, shit. sitting to uh, his left is my doped up hero, Chloe LeBranch. You know her from News for Women. Yeah. Also, know her from recently did the cellar. That was awesome. Yeah, Great yeah. set. That was, that was an amazing set. How'd Thank you feel you. that night? I felt good. That was fun. I, it, was, it was so funny when Jay forgot my name. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> did you know when it happened? Yeah, I was standing there. And then I was starting to walk up the stage. And he was like, fuck, he's like the weed. And then he's like, actually, he's like, go back, go back, go back. So then I just like turn around with my head down and I like I walk like back like fifth like like ten feet to the back and then he's like, okay, Chloe LeBranch! and then I walk back told, on stage. So he told funny. us at, he told us on Tuesday at bas oh told, yeah he told us on Tuesday at basketball he goes no no I completely forgot her name I know and I didn't know if he was doing a bit I thought he like jumbled up your intro and was like you know Chloe I'm gonna give you the respect you deserve go back we're gonna do it again I thought it was like a whole dramatic thing no no no, no. turns out he just. He, Afterwards, he was telling me he was like, "I got stuck in my head like that. You were that uh, this this girl Chloe, like uh, Feinberg or or someone." And then I just was like, "I know that she just doesn't have a Jewish last name, so I'm not going to do it." Afterwards, I was like, "I was wishing I just had yelled out, been like it's Hannah Gatsby, <laughs> <laughs> I've been like Drew Michael." <laughs> like, That's awesome. But uh, no, it was funny because then I just like made a joke about it. I was like, "Don't worry Gee, about Mike? it. I'm a girl. I'm only here because Jay's." Going through like we also have a new a uh, co-producer on the show today. I don't know if you know. Do you guys know G Mike? Yeah, what up, G Mike, Mike is our new co-producer. He's Mike, only yeah. here to smoke. That's it. That's he it. has one job. If he ever gets another job, we have to fire him. He's not allowed to do any work. He's just here to, he's smoke. Not to smoke. Unless you're on and he's making yeah. coffee because he wanted it too. Yeah, yeah, that is true. He'll do things if he also wants it. So like if you if like if we all want a pizza, it's because <laughs> G Mike also wants a pizza. Show went off the Dude, rails. Everyone <laughs> here, everyone here is like a crackhead for weed. <laughs> <laughs> It's really weird. <laughs> it is. Like, my weed's my around, is really low too. Like, cause I've, I've been working this stupid nine to five job and like, uh, <laughs> right. Trying to get Where my do you shirt work? in order. I I'm not going to tell you that, bro. But oh, uh, my bad. What really the fuck? What do you Before do? the podcast, what do you want to talk about? I'm in sales. I'm in sales. Mm. But, uh, I'm not going to tell you the company. Nine to five. Nine to five. It's 450. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm even doing the math. Yeah, like, like, let's, 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 let's not be not today. Smart enough to know how to. Let's not be today. This is what's wild. Is I just I'm not doing that well, right? And I'm like every Clearly. Thursday I gotta leave at four. Every Thursday since I started oh that my job, God. it is it is really funny. Is um because we have like a weekly phone call for this fucking podcast. Believe it or not, and uh, during during the <laughs> during the phone call, 
one of the things where like if DC's not on, it'll what just be like a me and Kevin about? moment. It'll just be like a me and Kevin moment. And he'll just go, buddy. <laughs> I'm not selling a lot this week, and I keep leaving early every Thursday. It's not a great look. <laughs> and we're just slowly going to the part of, like, one week Kevin's going to come in, just, like, hey, this podcast has to do well because I don't have a job anymore. I'm just waiting for that moment. What are you, what are you selling? Weed? <laughs> uh, that's, why that's, yeah. that's why he's holding the joint. He goes, <laughs> it has a phone number on it. <laughs> He's trying Yo. to promote his business. You also don't have to keep smoking that. Bro. No, I can like, smoke. Oh, okay. They don't care about that. We all do drugs in that sales office. Sales at a bodega. No. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, it kind of does. I'm not, I, I, listen, <laughs> what do you sell? I'm, I'm not selling gonna... Gatorade, <laughs> cigarettes. I don't want to call it his job. I don't want to call it his job. But I was, uh, I was writing yeah, something the other day. You keep on the table. You guys Kev, have control. You it's bro. the first time. <laughs> brutal Kev with the brutal Jesus hands. Christ, I remember. Why are your hands so brutal? Yeah, I remember. I don't get it. Ash Thank in something, much. not hey. the table. I, was, I didn't even crazy. realize I needed to ash. Holy <laughs> shit, my guy. No sugar. Oh. Thank you guys you. know that, um, you know why we call uh, Kev Brutal Kev with the brutal hands? Because those hands ruin everything. I've never seen a dude just well, he can't handle anything. Say Liam Neeson when he's like, these hands. He came over <laughs> like, I, <laughs> What is that quote when he's like, these, these hands can do a certain... I have set, I have I have certain, certain set of skills. skills. Yeah. But doesn't uh, he also like say something about his hands? I was like trying to Google it forever. No, no, I just... I gotta I'm the fingering the champion. These There's, fingers do work. What is that from Taken? Yeah. Taken, yeah. 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 It, was pretty, cool. it was pretty funny when... um. <laughs> What is it? Uh, didn't they try to do like Taken two and three? How many they didn't, they didn't they try. Did, they, they did. They did. did. <laughs> I'm saying more like, I feel like Taken is such a good movie to do a one off and then never speak of it again. Like it's like, like even American Psycho. They should never been like a second Dude, one. With I Leo love Kunis. it. It just keeps trying. No, no I hate that. What about what about Born Identity? That shit was oh, fire, bro. The first time I watched it, many, but good. Supremacy was never great. watched it. Yeah, yeah they were good. Yeah, they were good. good. Harry Potter's. I will go for about five more of those. Yeah, yeah. Never seen Harry Potter. You've never know. seen Harry Potter? Never seen it. People Yo, keep trying to your parents like really didn't like you. They didn't celebrate Christmas. My mom didn't like witchcraft. At he all. doesn't get presents he didn't. ever. He didn't, so he didn't, he didn't like witchcraft. Presents. I'm pretty sure I gave I gave him a present one year for Christmas, and I think I was like the third present he's ever gotten in his life. You never That's got Christmas presents? Christmas presents? But cool. Huh? You never gotten Christmas presents? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think I ever gotten a Christmas present. Why? If, you, if, you, if you have to say I don't think so, the answer is no. I don't think so. We didn't celebrate any holidays growing up. We didn't celebrate any holidays. His mom doesn't believe in it. Which is a crazy way of just saying she's cheap. I no. think so, maybe, but we've you know, talked she, about this. I, 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 one time when I, when me and DC got close, and I was I asked him, honestly, I go, do you, do you, do you, one time do you, we got close. I hate the way he says <laughs> everything. Ever since then, I go, I go, do you think, do you think it's because <laughs> she was honestly cheap? Do you think it was religious we got or close. more? We were on mushrooms and I touched his dick. <laughs> we actually, well, hell yeah. <laughs> Chloe, you're not penis envy together. What's your what's not your ethnicity? Uh, you Jamaican, have, black. Yeah. You have immigrant parents? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's sure. probably a lot of it. Too. Yeah, yeah, like they don't. Super Christian, uh, Caribbean. Yeah. They didn't grow yeah. up with it, so they're like, you're not growing up with it, probably. May, I don't. I think she did grow up with it. Oh, that's. I, think, <laughs> I feel what? like I think she did grow up with that it. That is true. Christmas that's is big up. in the that's Caribbean. Could you imagine up. being a parent that wants to deny giving a gift? Even no, she just experienced that. My mom, but more than it was like, oh, Christmas is a pagan holiday and all this kind of shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, who gives a fuck? What does that mean, pagan? People pagan, always say like, pagan um, is another like, like religion. Not of the no, like it's, it's just it's hedonism. Like it's another form of hedonism. what's hedonism? Pa- wait, pagan. See, you, you, I don't know what pagan means. And he goes, it's hedonism. Like, like I'd be like, oh, okay, what yes. the fuck okay. is hedonism? <laughs> right. So, so when is basically, the culture, the it is, is it? like it's like sun worship, sacrificing that kind of shit is like hedonism. Like, but I don't know if you remember Caligula. Anybody? Oh, remember Caligula so at she all? really doesn't like witchcraft. What no, words exactly. are you saying? <laughs> well, pagans also like a biker gang. Maybe yeah, the maybe. pagans and they like, yeah. call themselves like the one percent. They're like this kind of like crazy. Dude. Yeah, the one percent. They're, they're like, crazy. We're it's like it's like a hell's angel type of thing. Okay. Really? Yeah, yeah I was. Like, I, I've been in rehab with some pagans. <laughs> <laughs> they're What's like a, psycho. Like when they you, have like beef with the hell's angels. Chloe, when you go to uh, rehab, you make friends. Of course. Yeah, man. Like, they're but hard I mean, to more stay like in touch with because they're always ghosting you. No. But, <laughs> Like, but I was, I, that's what I was going to get to. I was like, suicide. Have you ever it's gone? Not suicide. Oh, okay. My bad. I thought you were. Oh, I thought that's been the joke. Natural yeah. cause. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not suicide. That's exactly yeah, the way they want it. Oh, yeah, They're like, shit. Yeah, the devil, flying too close to the, the sun. The devil's dandruff, you know. Damn. Do you, you ever, um, you ever go back fuck. into a, a rehab and been like, oh, Jim, you're back? Oh, yeah. I kept running into this fucking girl. Really? Yeah, so oh, I stopped. Shit. Yeah, she was like, yeah, I shot heroin into my forehead. I was like, you got problems. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's how I got this. <laughs> Is it? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I was getting. That's yeah, how DC yeah, yeah. had that bump yeah. for like three months. It was a cyst. Was Did you bump. really? Yeah, yeah. You want to see the video? Me no, 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 no more. Oh, no, the cyst. No. <laughs> Wait, you, you really put heroin in your forehead? No, no. 
no. I don't, I don't know. That's why he's not allowed to have presents. No, no, no. I don't, yeah. I don't, no, no, no. He had, a, he had a giant cyst in the middle of his forehead. What, did you, what was that from? I don't know. Just fucking wearing a hat too much every day. And then oh, it and just, the, the bacteria, bacteria yeah, built yeah, yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a and video just, of them like taking it off? I no, took it out at home. Himself. I did it at home. He's oh, a God. psycho. Yeah. Fucking. Did I, you use like a knife? No. Um. I So I ripped the bandaid off like really hard and it exposed the head of it and I pushed it out and like this hard. Now I just pull it out. No. Nope. And I don't know if she still has it. Done that. Yes. It's, yeah. it's, it's the not doing first thing in our Instagram messages. Let's do it. It's pretty funny. No, we're not doing that. Uh, do you really want to watch I'll it? I'll show you after. People yeah. want to put it out. No, she wants to watch. Let's if go. She no. wants to watch it. I mean, we're not talking the about viewers shit don't want to see it again. We're not <laughs> talking about <laughs> shit anyway. <laughs> well, the, the viewers didn't. The viewers <laughs> didn't get Andre Kims and Chloe LeBron's motherfucking Fine. reaction. Yeah, the talent wants to watch it. That's yeah. a great. That true. That's a great go. We're not talking about shit. <laughs> oh, Pull it up. producer. Producer. <laughs> 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 Um, I mean, it's just gonna take her a second. She has to go to her DMs, but I, I don't. Oh, cool. Do you get off on watching those no. pimple popping videos? No, but people are. But you just want to watch this one. Yeah, I'm just curious. Why? You, you know what? I, you, know what you, would. you know what? I mean, like? Actually, you're Asian. You could love it. It could be. It's fifty fifty for you. Anyway, it's it's you know what I? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> if you went by demographic of who enjoys those videos, it's Asia dominated. Uh, really? I've never. Okay. No, no, I've girl. never heard of Asians and people popping. For real, I'm not gonna who's obsessed you. with skincare? Women, white girls. <laughs> Your women's broad. women and gay dudes, <laughs> women and gay. I mean, yeah, obviously, women are obsessed with skincare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking. You ever go to you ever go to a girl's place in her bathroom around the sink? Yeah. It's like a chemistry set. It looks insane. You're it looks like, insane. what the Calico, fuck? Yeah. There's like, I have a lot of shit around my towel like, masks, little uh, tissues that are just uh, soiled and like the, makeup and the shit. exfoliating nope. brush. I have so yes. much shit around my. I have so much shit in my bathroom. Curlers, pressers. My girlfriend thought I was cheating on her because she found makeup. <laughs> It was and shit. it was easier for her to think that I was cheating on her than have to explain to her that it's mine. Do you wear makeup? Some boys do. Sometimes. Some boys. Do. Like when would you wear makeup? Like for blemish. This? Uh, no, it's literally I mean, just actually, a blemish. It's, it's on, okay. It's it, 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 in honesty, it's just OCD and like if I pick up my face or whatever, like if I have like a little red spot, I can't like deal with it. Uh, it's just like uh, I have to like just fix it just for like so even my sake. Okay. I mean, like I, I, I'm sure it is in my head for other people for how I'm mm. perceived, but it. Just irks me. Does it make you feel like a bad bitch when you do it? Hell yeah! <laughs> you go out, you're like, I'm getting fucked. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting out here getting fucked. I'm well, assuming Andre would. Ne I'm sure. I'm assuming you're on the fence of. I would never wear makeup. I would never do that. But, <laughs> like, if you're on a date with a dude and you see like a little red thing on their nose, like, are you like? Mm, I don't know. No. I don't really go on very many dates. Chloe one time saw a dude shoot heroin, and that wasn't a red flag. <laughs> She I was thought like, that was the date. Or... Hey, let's, let's hang out later. Yeah. I get you to covering up the thing because when you're on a date and they like looking at you and they yeah. make a little thing with their eye, you're like, oh, she like, ah, oh, 100%. She she yeah, you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Like, Damn if it. you have on makeup, a woman can see it. Like, she'll be able to tell something's up with your face. It's just, least, yeah. <laughs> something's up with your face. It's, just, yeah. it's a complete different shade. Right. And also, you can't do it good either. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a skincare routine. No. Really? I don't like have products, I don't really do anything. I was gonna make the joke when you said every girl cares about skincare, oh, I, and I thought it was just gonna be off. I was gonna be like, Chloe looks like the one girl who doesn't. I don't do anything. You don't like before wow. bed. Don't care. Just, I'm just curious. You know what's I crazy? mean, I'll like be mad, but no drugs too. I'll just like I'll put like water on my face and then like wipe it with a towel. That's it. That's what I. I feel like the people that don't care have like great skin. Sometimes. I was about to say Isn't that. Isn't that weird? I feel you. Yeah, that's true. I listened to a girl once to like. You know, get all those products. I listened to a girl once. <laughs> <laughs> just once. Just once. <laughs> once. Just once. I listened to a girl once. Not, that's awesome. Yeah, but I, start, I started breaking out immediately, bro. By listening to her? Uh, by listening to her. I started that breaking is, out immediently. <laughs> that is true. The girls that have, like, do a million <laughs> things, I'm like, do you really? Because it doesn't seem to be yeah. working. Well, I think, like, the biggest thing is if you touch your face a lot. So yeah. if you just don't touch Doritos, it. Doritos, chocolate. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, that's what? Straight up, bro. Oh, you, you mean the, what, you, what your diet that's is? Shit. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's some certain people. If I, if I eat too much of it, it'll like, you know, people would get tell. I also have a terrible diet. Yeah, my, no, my diet's pretty bad, too. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Stink. I Define had a terrible. and egg yesterday. I have like a bagel. I had that this morning. And then I'll smoke okay. like a pack of cigarettes. And then I'll have like three lattes. That's part of her diet. And smoke a red one cigarette today. <laughs> and that's my day. <laughs> the that's cigarettes are part of her intake and in calories. That's it. Dude, you look great. Thanks. That's what's crazy. And then like I'll eat a uh, cheeseburger at the stand. That's it. Yeah, I or, do I'll forget, or I'll forget to eat. By you the way. Like, that's, two, that's only two meals. That's why you probably stay slim and shit. 
Yeah, or I just don't eat all day because I forget. I've I'm been eating way more. I haven't eaten today. Fat. Wow. I've, I ate, ate, way more important I ate four wake up wraps from Dunkin' Donuts today. That's that insane. was my breakfast. Really? I woke up at like two, did a podcast. Is that a crazy number? Here. Is that an insane number? No, it's not. No? Four wake up wraps? How big are they? <laughs> insane. You had a wake up wrap? Andre? No. I'll get you a wake up wrap. What do you eat? What's your... I was actually thinking about it today. I was like, I was like smoking a cigarette and I was just like, Huh, some people just live a normal life and have meals every day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't understand people who cook for themselves. I, I, it, it, you don't cook for yourself? It's no. literally no. the highlight of my day sometimes. Nope, really? that's the low point of my day. A high point is eating, low points I mean, cooking. yeah, but th- while I'm cooking, I get to think about how I'm going to eat in nope. a minute. I mean, I put in my laundry do today and I've never been more suicidal in my whole life. <laughs> you do your own <laughs> laundry? Yeah. Fold it? Oh, God, that takes months. Yeah, you should just do a drop-off. It's like <laughs> That's a no. The drop- There's a pile on a drop-off. chair somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a pile. You're, you're, you're like my sister. I have, la- well, I, have laundry, I have laundry in my building. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so cool. I'm not going to like go to a laundromat and do it. Mm, but oh, it's God, like no. literally just in my building. So I'm like, it, it would be. Even then, I think it's worth just getting it picked up. Yeah, because I don't want to fold laundry fold. ever. That's the only part about laundry. Yeah, but they fuck up all my clothes every time I bring They sometimes do fuck up clothes, yep. That's you guys want to see the everything's going to be all right clip of the week? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Natalie, you have my, my notes. Natalie? Everything's going to be all right. Natalie, you want to pull that up? Is this uh-huh. is this like a, it's supposed to bring you up? Yeah, it's like <gasps> just everything's going to be all right. Just to have a little little positivity. It doesn't in the even world. feel better. I'm going to get pissed, bro. Yeah. This. If you're, are you going to riot? I mean, play it. Hit play. All right. You're keeping that speed. You look topless. No, You're spoiling it. Where is this? Wow. That's one of the hardest hits I've ever seen. Oh my god. I would never. Oh. The second the water even catches a corner, an edge. It's like a monster was sitting under the water and ate him. Would you do that ship? No, no. Why is it called "Everything's Gonna Be Alright" if that wasn't alright? <laughs> yeah, I, was... I don't understand. <laughs> oh no, yeah. That, I just, I'll, it I was just, just I'll... like your life's going better than this. Oh, yeah. You definitely got a concussion See, from Chloe, that. You yeah. understand it? Probably drowned. It was almost. like all those memes. Right. Like if yeah. Britney could get through 2007, you can get through today. Mm. I like it. I like like, no, it, that's one of those things where I don't like doing too much crazy shit around water because if you do pass out or anything, you just. Start sinking. You're just drowning. Yeah, like it's Im- it's immediate. You're way closer to death than. Well, I think it's called the dead man's float. Yeah. What? Yeah, you can't float it. Oh, yeah. the dead man's float. Yeah, well, you don't sink. You float, but you float face down. There's no way. Dead man's <laughs> float. Yeah. Yeah, it's a real thing. Yeah, when if, you're... if you pass out, you, there's no oh, way. If you you're... get concussed in the water, oh, you'll drown. Like, but if you, you hit float the... back up, <laughs> you will. You float back up, face down, like she said. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a genius. And when you get shot in the head in real life, you fall forward. Did, not did you never play dead in the water yep. and floated in, did up you? to the top? But like you have to have air in you. Wait, hold you on. You know how hold hard on. it is to try did to you? stand at the bottom of a pool? <laughs> no, it's not. It's it is not super hard. Is and yes, I did. You you put on glasses just for that one. For that one clip. I had them here. I don't know why. I, I usually have them on. I was like, he did not just have on glasses. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I feel so fucking disgusting with these glasses on. <laughs> you look better. No, I don't. Think I'll, so. I will say, Kev, you're close to having to get uh, late eye, eye surgery because I'm, I I can't keep dealing with like I'll be like this. Oh, Andre, my couch and my desk is this distance. Yeah, I'll be like, yo, bro, isn't this wild? He's like, yo, buddy, I can't see that. Buddy, oh, buddy, I buddy, hate buddy I can't see that. that. Is eye surgery um, covered by insurance? No, it's not. Mm. You gotta pay that shit out of pocket. All of it, mm. but when I was in the army, I'm such a idiot. When I was in the army, they you were out of socket. Yeah. How? <laughs> that'd be a joke somewhere in this podcast. That was a good riff. You're not gonna finish your story. Nah, I was gonna end it. Yeah. Nah, you were in the, <laughs> you were in the <laughs> army. I was in the army. Wow. And they gave me the option for refraction surgery, which is the better version of uh, LASIK. And you didn't take it. I was scared. Mm. I was just thinking about them peeling my eyelids, and I could I couldn't even put contacts in at the time. I couldn't do it. That's one of my best. So, like, I, I, I can't watch scared. anything with eyes. I'll, no, I'll, I'll, as much as I, you might need it. I don't know if I can do it. You could do it. No, I have twenty twenty vision. Yeah, same. <laughs> same I, don't bro. Dude, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't think same. about that. Yeah, I don't really. 
no, I'll deal with that. See everything. Oh, fuck you. You know what I hate is when someone shows you something on their phone and their brightness is all the way <laughs> yeah. up. I'm like, oh, that's too bro. Much. Yeah. Turn that down. What also, if you're in public and you play a video at full volume for more than three oh. seconds, like even someone, like I know these are just basic things, but it's just it is insane that people still do some of these things. I was sitting on a couch the other day and someone just like full volume and took him twenty seconds to realize, like, oh, you know what, I'm Yeah, that's that's hit a couple hit a couple clicks. <laughs> that's rough. So you're not gonna finish your thing? Oh, I'm you did. Fuck, I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. How's your dating life going? I like that they take, they have to take over the podcast right now. I mean, somebody's got it. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm trying. I feel like I'm on a first date. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is dope. I felt it immediately. I was like, yo, oh shit. Can you look I, up the game LeBron James scored six points and whatever <laughs> whatever the date of that game is is the name of this podcast is the name of this episode. That's the name of this one. All right, all right. Uh, 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 Andre, hey, what are your thoughts on Ti? <laughs> Ti, yeah. Who is that? The rapper? Yes. No, the comedian. The rap. The comedian. No, 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 no. Ti the rapper is no longer with us. Ti the comedian. No, Ti the comedian is born. Ti is a comedian now. Oh, he is. I love that. Really? You didn't know? Yeah. No. I don't know why. I think it's great. Comedy now. I think it's cool. A lot of some. A lot of people, I guess, are making a big issue about it. I don't. Listen, my thing is, if it has nothing to do with I'm not, you... I'm not big enough to make a big issue about anything. Yeah, like, same here. Like, but it's just one of those things, it's like, I don't see what the problem is. You know, a guy wants to tell some jokes into a microphone down in Atlanta in yeah. front of some people at a bar. He's not... He's Go not for but, it. But you, don't, but you don't care. It's like, even he, as like a, a new... Um, He's comedian, not, it's like you're doing 45 minutes. That's insane. I don't care. What does it have to do with me? He's Go not do it eight taking hours. your late night Jimmy Fallon spot. Yeah, like, I don't he's care. He's doing that. You he's T.I. Like, you know what I mean? Would he care if difference. I started rhyming into he a mic, USB a Yeti microphone in my closet? People start every day. That's a good <laughs> point. And uploaded it on SoundCloud? And no, no, but, care? but again, and if like, you were far, he'd probably sign you anyway. Like, right. Yeah, he'd he, probably like that. Exactly. I mean, but... Only comedian you, 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 you have a yeah, problem think, with it? You think like T.I. would care if uh, a major stand-up was like, I want to become a rapper? No, but like I think there's certain Hannibal things, Burns, even in, in even in rap, where it's like um, certain like uh, uh, not traditions, but like respect of like how comedian, like how comedy. Yeah, but is. there's no respect in comedy anymore. <laughs> yeah, come on, we all know that. Yeah, but there's still like, but like between like like older comedians, like hey, like like. Big J, for example, like, if you're on his show, there's a way of going about that, and like, yeah, you know, like, like all you need is a podcast, and you have an audience. <laughs> yeah, or some online videos that went viral. Yeah, like, how many? People yeah, are I mean, at there's clubs a lot that... of people getting passed at clubs just because they have an audience, and then you, you're watching clubs right now. Realize they're like, what the fuck are we doing? Right. I, you, I'm telling you, are they? Are watching. they realizing? Yeah, they're like, I we're selling tickets. I watched the club. I watched the club recently. Sign, not sign, but uh, pass a bunch of people. I'm like, oh, you're finally. Signing some dope people like the seller had Sagalo get signed, like Feeney just got passed, like they had uh, signed. I'm sorry, passed. Yeah, what's and, with like, the sign thing? Yeah, because yeah. we were talking about it's rappers, like, right, right, right. right. Um, okay. and I'll, I'll, and then, and what I was gonna get back to is like thinking about like rappers and how that process is. It is very similar, but there's still like I, I think if you're, I think there's still like respect in rap. Like even if it's a little bit like yeah, you talk shit. Yeah. But if you work with someone, like, if you do their podcast or if you do their album, that's di- similar to then, like, comedy in that fact. I just think it's – so you, sh- you, I think it's just shitty that no matter how big an audience like, – if you have a giant audience and you go into comedy, you can just – not skip steps, but it's like – you can just be like, oh. But who cares, though? <laughs> yeah, but it's like people are allowed to like is. who they like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is you know? is, that's where I do agree. Also, what if he's just, just telling stories up there? He's not even trying to do bits. I do like, love Mike Tyson's hour. I haven't seen it. After all that, you go going, like, yeah. Tyson's hour? <laughs> Whoa, I'm allowed to change my opinion. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm allowed to change my opinion. I go, he, he got me. You, go, you know what? I do. Mike Tyson just up there going, like, you know, and I, want, I wanted to kill a man. And I'm like, you're killing He's it. He's just this like, I'm going to eat your children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat the babies. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Mike, you're killing it. So what's the difference between Mike Tyson and T.I. for you? No, no, that's where he kind of got me. I'm like, kind of thinking, I'm like, I guess Mike, Mike Tyson, Tyson can't even talk. At least T.I. can talk. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, a lot of people, <laughs> I'm just saying. you know, like you, like you were just saying, a lot of people have a problem with like, oh, he skipped all the steps, and I'm like, what steps? Is he, yeah, was he supposed to go through the steps? Yeah, should so he, you're does he happy? owe Jeff Lawrence money? 
That's hilarious. He has to do it. Ti has to do bringer <laughs> shows. Hilarious. Right. Ti has to and do bringer shows. And if Ti is doing a bringer, your show right. is over. Right. If Ti is doing a bringer, ten thousand people are like coming if, in the if show. Ti has to get scanned by Broadway Comic Club <laughs> like at least saying. once. No, then then your bringer is gonna suck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. People want Ti to go to open mic and do what, bro? Fucking cause a riot. That makes I don't know. That makes. I don't have any problem with it. I just like the conversation because I think it's interesting that it's the same thing whether he's Ti the rapper or if he's just. Uh, this David, the fucking YouTube sensation with a million followers. Mm-hmm. Regardless, dude, the rap has been raped by people who don't belong there, bro. Yeah, like, rap, so that's all respect in rap, exactly. Yeah. Anymore, so yeah. it's and same comedy, way, it's same, same way, comedy. like actors become podcasters, the same way that, um, right. exactly. that, that, like, you know, people like Lady Gaga is an actress now, which it's, she did good, no, she and she's fine, she too. Cameras. You know, she's, <laughs> she's not very good in. House of Gucci. I heard that movie was trash so? all around. Nah, I, I loved her in Star Is Born. She, she, she was that playing shit. herself. Oh, that song, she that was song playing a, an me. artist, oh, like a singer. But we, we also live in a world where if people know you for one thing for years and you go to a different thing, they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What, what do you, you think? What are you doing? doing? I'm, I'm a mean, fan who of am that. I, though. I like that. Kirk. I've got. I, yeah, yeah. That's how I, I, yeah, I, I don't have like I also think stand up comedy, I always compare it to boxing because it's like you're up there by yourself. You think you're the only one that compares stand up comedy to boxing? No, no, no. no I'm just but I'm saying, just like, it has a lot of similarities. I'm with you, but I'm saying, like, also, like, um, that's why Mike Tyson does. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> but even like, uh, it's the same thing. Like Jake Paul in boxing, it's kind of yeah. like the Ti in comedy. Like it's the same. Jake Paul didn't go through the amateurs. Yeah, Ti exactly. didn't that go is through. true. It's, it's the same. Didn't, yeah. It wasn't thing. Brendan Schaub a boxer. Yeah, he was yeah. a UFC fighter. fighter. That's why everyone's like, that's why everyone like shits on him. Right, and he went into comedy and he skipped all the. And everyone likes him, right? I know. I mean, there's a lot of hate for him too. There's but, a lot of hate for him. But he makes mad money. Like I never love saw him. I never saw Hannah Gatsby at an open mic. Yeah, no, I mean, that's true. I've never she seen was, her you know, at all ever. In, in a general. different country, so <laughs> that was never gonna happen. No, but I, I don't. You know, it's it, we're 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 in a world now where there's always gonna be that battle between the purists. Mm-hmm. And then the people that made a silly TikTok and they're blowing up mm-hmm. and they can fill the seats. Yeah. I feel like you got to judge be that people bad. by whether or not they can do it. If he if he gets funnier eventually in five years, then it is what it is. If it's if he's not, then it, he didn't. Like, you well, know. it's interesting because I had dinner with my friend last night and we were debating. He's a comic and he opens for a certain comedian that's pretty popping. You know, may have recorded a podcast in the studio a couple of days ago. You know, and he mm-hmm. uh, he was talking about um, like you know stand up is dead. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like the older comic. Yeah, he's a little. I mean, he's not like an old dude, but he uh, he's just talking about like being on stage every night, like three times a night. That addiction that we're that we're you know born and raised on. Mm-hmm. He's like, it's just not good. Like you're you're better off staying home and working on content and all that stuff. And he Easy. just kept saying that stand up's a dead art for him. And I'm like, I don't. I think there's I don't a middle point. Yeah, there's a middle. I think point. there's, a, there's middle a middle point. point. Also, this mm-hmm. matter of fact. There's so many people selling out theaters too. He's being too more than ever. How is comedy dead if they're selling out? Yeah. Well, it's also too like it's weird to like get good at stand up and then like all those attributes you got from stand up and you use it in podcasts and like that's how you get your rhythm and your timing with other stuff that you do. I mean, it's it's like look at Schultz and then you see these other comics. They're sell. They're making fifty grand a weekend at clubs. (laughs) Per show, I and think. God bless him, yo. They're, Actually, sell- no. they're selling out eight shows a weekend. Well, yeah, that's probably why Ti really wants to get into it. I don't think he was making that much money on the road. I have that feeling. Lord, no. Are you out of your fucking so, mind? He's why would get into he's, comedy? Because he are you out, out of your fun, mind? Bro. You don't think you are Ti's making bro. money on the road, bro? He was. Dude, why would you get into comedy, yeah, bro? Are you? Why would you get into comedy? You keep rapping. You making rapping than comedy? Yo, dude, I don't think he's doing comedy because he likes it. I don't think it's real. You're out of your mind, bro. Look up Ti on Spotify or YouTube. Just look at his numbers. Go do that. His views. This is he turned down a hundred grand to do that show that night. Ti. You're crazy. Crazy. You're crazy. He turned down a hundred grand. Ti, I, crazy, bro. Bro, why would he get a T.I.? I don't think he's an arena act. I don't think he's an arena act. I don't think he's an arena act. I don't, get rich. I don't think he's an arena act. Oh, exactly. He did but blurred T. Cliff? Line. He what? did blurred lines with Pharrell and Robin Thicke a yeah. couple of years ago. That song was huge. He did a Justin is, Timberlake song. He, he, did, did, he, he did blurred lines? He did a verse well, on that. Y'all act like, like millionaires never gone broke before. No, T.I. is not, not going broke. broke. No, you're talking about two different oh, things. Sorry. T.I. is not T.I. is not broke, bro. We need to pull I don't even want to say that. I don't see why he will get a Can we just look at his numbers with the views? How much money does T.I. Someone look up his name. How much does he make a show? Probably for sure, 100 dude. Maybe he wasn't really selling out like that. 
Bro, what if you you're you having to do wild shit, bro, if he gets a hundred grand to do an appearance, to a comedy club, bro, an appearance. Oh, I don't. Think, are you out of your mind? So. To do an appearance at a club, he's getting a hundred thousand dollars. Are you out of your fuck? Ti, bro, crazy, bro. Ti, net, it says on here fifty million. Do they know? Yes, how to for sure. I, I don't. I don't know. For sure, bro. I think the smoke got in the studio. I think Natalie's hot boxed in there. I think she's. I think she's a little high right now. Ti earnings for 2015 was six million. It is 50 million. I'm scrambling. Uh, G Mike looked it up. You go to his YouTube. Can you just type in Ti on YouTube and like, look at his views? 800, 800,000. Per what? Nobody knows. Per month. No point. He's loaded, bro. Yeah, it's. It doesn't even make sense. He's loaded. Who else are you questioning? Yeah, he definitely got a comedy for this. I don't know. Like, if anything, you should do comedy when you're loaded like that, because then you can focus on it. Right. Seven days a week. <laughs> yeah. It'll probably be a lot you easier to YouTube get numbers, He doesn't Yeah, yeah just pull it up. Exactly. Right. Uh, uh, there's no web shop because that's fine. Just no one sits tell here us. usually. All right. Uh, whatever you like has 65 million views. Go get it has eighty five million. He's a million. For, he has a million. He, he has ten million oh, less than his like number one viewed song. That's crazy. Like, okay, like, also like, like Ti. Wait, Ti been able to earn roughly a hundred and ten thousand per concert. These Thank are all you. songs that came out like fifteen years ago, though. The, the so views there, could have been so, from that. Yeah. Hits. So, but every and time he gets paid, probably someone uses that. Yeah, got a hundred million something uh, every time, dude. If you go on Spotify, there's like songs he's of his that have quarter of a billion like. And he's plays. a podcast. Kev, you just keep convincing me that he's just doing comedy, like because he loves it, and he's just, he's it doing is the wild forties. Why else would anyone do comedy? Yeah, he's not in it for <laughs> the money. Dude. I don't understand why anyone else would do comedy unless they really liked it. Like, no, no one's no one's ever woke up. Even comedians right now who are killing no one's ever woke up and was like oh man you know what i love about comedy having two, having four roommates yeah exactly <laughs> and fucking performing in a shithole places <laughs> like, like you know nah, what i love about the comedy much. the grizzly pair that, <laughs> yeah. that's why i got <laughs> into comedy you know what yeah ti you should skip all of that fuck all of that part. that's what i'm saying like, fuck all you, of that i'll tell you what though if i saw ti at like a show like a bar show or something like in the city i'd be like yo. i'll give him that props to that exactly. i'd be like yo like you mad for, like, yo, like, <laughs> like you know what i'm saying yo, i'll give him props nah, for that bro but nah, i can feel but, yo, you i can feel you're funny you got it what's your name <laughs> i would act like i don't even know him. that's actually really funny. you know what i mean you want to get dinner what are you doing if he could tolerate 10 people at a show and a couple of them turning their backs to him at a bar show then he's really doing it because he loves it because he would love to have a comedian yeah, he's friend. He's not doing a bar show. Yeah, no, 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 I'm just, I'm no, just saying, like, if he did, he is, like, though. He yeah, he's going to start doing, like, birthday parties for, like, 250 grand. <laughs> nah, he's going to drop in at the cellar. That's what he's going to do. Probably. Can you, can you pull up that video of him? He was at, like, a bar and grill in Atlanta. That's so funny. It was like a show like... I could see Kanye. Do you stand it is really yeah, I, Kanye I think he should. Kanye, Kanye, would be funny. Kanye was at the stand not like funny. a few yeah. months ago. Yeah. Was Ka no, no, Kanye, I actually don't want yeah. Kanye to do uh, he be comedy hilarious. because... I know you don't want him to, but he's always doing comedy. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but I mean, he's already doing comedy. <laughs> I'm talking about... His memes are fire. I'm talking about how long that set's going to be. Donda 1 and 2 of like 40 tracks each. Do you think that Kanye... We don't need a comedian doing seven hours of comedy at the Stand. Do you Just, think Kanye's in his in his house with the memes and they're like, dude, you gotta work on your album? He's like, I am busy <laughs> making memes, <laughs> and he's in there for like eighteen hours, what like just like fo ski? like photoshopping, and he's like, I am doing. They're like, seriously, man, like you have a theater to do now. He's like, I am making art. Cancel it. <laughs> uh, uh, Kanye just walking. He's around. like, I don't need help, but he's like, he's like googling how to photoshop <laughs> in there. Did you guys see his new documentary? Yeah, yeah, I'm actually saw, on the third episode. I gotta watch the third episode. episode. You're on episode. it? Yeah, yeah, I'm on the third episode, like, watching it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like an MTV Cribs? <laughs> no, just, like, straight up watching it. I don't know who, it. I don't know who the Netflix. last time I was like, <laughs> watching it on it Netflix. Weird? Wait, what do you mean? You're like... You say it weird? Yeah, you, she... you did kind of say it weird. I said, you did, you I said it like you were in it. I said, have you seen it? I said, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on the third episode. Nah, that... Oh, you made it sound like you were, like... In it. Like, you know, like an MTV Cribs, and they're like, yeah, this is my house, and there's just, like, the homies just sitting there. It's just me watching it. Everyone's just sitting in the background, just, like, playing video games. It sounds like you're, like, in in the, no, in no, one no, of the no, episodes, no, no. like not, not, yeah, not not even that. Kanye <laughs> would have his documentary with people watching his documentary in his documentary. Yeah. You know, he, he would go genius. that meta. That's genius. That's, that's that's G E. Was it? It's genius. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's G G. No. G. G. Was it? I was trying to say Jesus. Jesus. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, ah, I was gonna make a joke. Like, ah, I get it now. Did you Did you see it? The documentary? No. No. I There's, saw, because the people I was with, they had already seen the first episode, and the second one wasn't out yet, so I was like, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm Yo, too so far behind. <laughs> like, you're not cool. Dude, remember when you were making it? Don't she has it. to walk out of the house. They're all so hanging out. Episode. There's food and shit like Chloe. Uh, they're they, playing through they, the wire. I can't do this. Episode. I was trying to watch Euphoria the other day and oh, I couldn't boring. do it. I know. Boring. Is everybody, why it was, I it was honestly, actually. it was way too triggering for me, Dylan. It really. What tri- episode did you get to? I got up to like the third and I was like, I can't okay, do this. So it's just so fucking triggering. Have you watched Euphoria? I watched the first 10 minutes of the first episode and I was like, I can't do this. You out? You guys eat none of you I watched saw, it? I saw I the first season. That shit was crazy. Though. Okay, but I can I ask you about that? Yeah. I would. There's the euphoria test now. You know when you meet a girl and she's like, "I'm not privileged. I'm not from like a nice family. Like I never, I didn't have a hard life. Like I, my my, my, my life is hard. What are you talking about? Like, okay. Did you watch Euphoria? And if they be like, "Oh yeah, I loved Euphoria. I watched all of it." You're like, "Oh, you didn't have a hard life." Because like I had like divorce and shit. There was parts of Euphoria that were triggering, but like I could get through it. It's like how hard of you? How hard? was a watch for Euphoria. So it's like, for you, it's like, if you're getting three episodes in, it's like, all right. That's, that's very like, gay of you to say, though. Just why? why that was triggering for you. I meant more or less some of the... <laughs> no, because remember when we were at... I meant more or less some of the... Like, some of the arguing where, like, she's... There's a part where she's just breaking down a door yeah. and I just, like... Like, I just look back and I was like... Uh, this is, uh, no, I couldn't. I can't bizarre. watch it. It, it I, and then like everyone's obsessed with it, so I tried to rewatch it, and I was like, you know, it's I not can't. for you though. But this, sh- this is you know, this is a show for people who haven't experienced that. It was funny because you were also remember at Caroline's when you, when you were talking to Jay. Mm-hmm. Who are you talking to? And, you're, and you I, guys I were talk- like, you guys were like, who the fuck? What is you for? You remember? I was, you know, I was talking to Jay, and I go, I was like, I was like, oh, we we're talking about Euphoria, and I turned to Chloe. I go, have you? Never mind, you've lived Euphoria. Because you weren't. You're like, who the fuck does this? And you're yeah. like, oh, the, the Chloe. Because yeah. I was like dancing alone in a corner <laughs> yeah like chloe has euphoria tendencies like she'll just walk in she'll just be like bumping and bobbing you're like i just can't I there's music in her head that only she hears right now <laughs> yeah not like there's, 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 there's times where they'll, play, they'll be playing the music intro and it's like the main character rue like on her bike having fun uh-huh. and it's Dude. so funny because they'll just cut the music and it's her just going <laughs> my doctor i was at my doctor the other day and he was like because he kept asking me about, like, drugs to give me. And I was like, nah, dude. He's like, do you want an Ambien? I was like, I will snort that shit for a nap, dude. No. <laughs> and and uh, he, he was just like, honestly, he's like, you remind me of Rue. But except for, like, a more hyper version. And I was, my shit. doctor said That's that to so me. Rue, your, her doctor's Rue. watching Euphoria? Yeah, his kids oh, watch it. Euphoria. That's Euphoria. kind of Rue. funny, okay. dude. Oh, I was like, oh, God. He, <laughs> he works weird. and he goes home. Like he, I did like he's at work. And then he goes home he's like, Let's watch some work. <laughs> yeah. That is weird. But that's, I think that's a weird test, the euphoria test. Like, if she's, like, into it, then it's like, ah, oh, then you went through that, or you're privileged Oh, or no, something. no, like, you, like, I don't think your life was that hard. Okay. Like, well, I, I'm a I, lot I older than those characters. That's a weird but it's test, all though. still... Why? Nah, you're probably just like, around the same age as them in it, real life. <laughs> yeah, it's actually funny, because they're, they're all, like, 30. Yeah, some of them are up there, for sure, in age. Yeah, I mean, that's it's just so acting. crazy how actors like you guys remember Friday Night Lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One like the main character, uh, character uh, Minka Kelly, who's like the hottest girl ever. Oh, yeah, remember her? Yeah, she was like twenty eight or yeah. twenty nine. Playing high school, yeah, yeah playing a sixteen year old. Is it not? Is it not weird for people almost thirty to be simulating teenage sex on HBO? Huh. That a is little a little bit. weird, though. I yeah, think, but also I HBO well. has a like a, 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 a ten year old who has. I heard they show. I heard, I heard they show well, mad dicks in the show. I got, I got. I think I got angry in Euphoria at things that other people didn't like. So, for example, when uh, when Jules rats out Rue for the pills and Rue can't find her drugs, I was so fucking mad. I was so mad at Jules. I was like, that fucking piece of shit so rat. I was like, I hope she fucking, I was like, Rue better fucking kill this bitch. How dare her take her drugs? Like, mm-hmm. what a fucking cunt bitch. And when she was like yelling at her, like, I got mm. so fucking angry. Did you feel good when she started like kind of like, oh yeah, and I was like, go into her uh, more. And, and then, and then I got, and then the feeling when she was looking for it and couldn't find it. And then when she started having her breakdowns, being like, I just miss dad. And then I was like, oh, then now she's manipulating her mom. Just mm-hmm. Dude, I'm telling the show wow. does it. The and show does she, mental and, and then, like and shit to like it's, yep. it's, it and is then triggering. She's just dude. doing the manipulating wow. thing just to try to get her mom to be like, okay, they're where, right here. Yes. And then when the mom didn't give in, she, she was, freaked out again. Where and then are they? Got mad again. Where are her. they? And then she walks in and sees them. And then the, the other kid's in there, and he's the drug addict. She hits him, and I'm like, yeah, it's good. And then he walks away, and then she's in the car, and she's like, okay, we're going to the hospital. But then they trick her, and then I'm like, oh, I've been tricked. And then when she runs, mm. I got really mad. This is this is further than, you didn't get three episodes in. I don't know what episode that was, but I... I that's, that's, but, I'm just saying that's further. Because I had to stop watching it for like a month or something. 
Interesting. Wow. And yeah. I had the same. I had the same tendency. I have to. Like, no, but this is why I'm saying is like to watch the shows. But it was like if, I was getting. Ma- I, if you're I, watching it from like a different perspective, like I even talked to like Dave Temple about this. I was like, "Have you watched before?" He's like, "I, I, I watched a couple episodes. I tried." He's like, "You don't understand. Like that's. I don't want to go back to that." Like you that's know, like, like like someone who wakes up every day. I don't want to put Dave shit out there, but it's like someone who's like meditating and like like right. Chloe like going to rehab. It's like why would I want to? Go sit back. here like I don't want like it is weird that, I think it's weird that your doctor's watching it's like that's like watching work at work and then it's like when her sponsor like yelled at her in my head I was just like don't you fucking yell at me like oh, I, no it, the whole wow. thing was just like very triggering so, uh, to me but you, but you watch it through Rue's eyes yeah it was it was very strange but then I also I also don't like I also got annoyed at her a lot at her character, because I was like, "Why are you being so fucking stupid? Like, you're gonna get them caught." And then I would get annoyed at her. And then, and then, like, the whole thing was like, just like, kind of like, I, I just was getting like, I don't know. It the whole thing just was real, really triggering. Oh, I yeah, hate, I sure. hated Jules's character. That's so. so f- I, but again, is just so you understand. When I'm watching it. Jules and the other guys, like um, I know his real name, Dominic Fike. He's Ellie in the show. Yeah, yeah. So Ellie and the other characters. When yeah. So the mom kind of like fucks with her. It's a moment where she goes crazy, beats down the door, and then her mom goes, "You happy? Like you know, your friends just kind of hurt with you, who you are." And she walks out. And she sees that she just kind of exposed herself to her friends. Mm. I I'm watching it from their eyes. I'm like Rue, like. They had no other choice. Oh, I. You pushed it to a point oh, of they like had no a return. Why didn't they talk to her first? And then Elliot's a fucking addict. He's a piece of shit. Huh? Oh, you don't know? <laughs> oh, you fucked up, bro. You should have been watching the show like the rest of America, yeah. bro. So you understand? Even if you don't know. Yeah, like, can we stop talking about details of the show? Because I'm actually on episode oh. three. <laughs> shit, damn. Oh, I'll spoil it for her. I'll spoil they it do for drugs. Right. We're <laughs> 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 talking about one freak out. She did convince me to watch it, though. I mean, though, like, see, every, every single There'll be more freak every, out. Every single episode of every season, Rue relapse and freaks out. <laughs> yeah, like, I get, Natalie, I get <laughs> Then you summed it up Do you think there's going to be no seasons left? Like, the third season's Rue, like, having a nice life. Yo, yeah. She's showing and up. And she gets like, in a fight with her girlfriend. Oh. Guys, I'm on antidepressants. I don't have... I'm sleeping well. Me and Jules are married. Who's the drug dealer in the show? And oh, I love Fez. Fez rules. Is he rich as fuck? Because these kids are, like, No, no not at all. Oh, Fez, no, Fez no, doesn't even... Best. He doesn't even shit, go to dude. high school. Yeah, yeah, and I, lo- I loved in the first... I think it was the first episode when they did Fez's backstory. Yes. With... One of the best episodes. Sorry to cut you off. It is just it's so fun. White, white kid or and you know that's Maude Apatow. It's Judd Apatow's daughter plays Sydney Sweeney's sister. Yes. Wow. Wow. That's way. Judd Apatow's daughter. I seen Judd no Apatow. No way. She's, she's great. Was. She's great in it. Do you know? Have you watched this or now? This part? No. Dude, I'm just saying. Even if you don't watch the show, this episode just because they go backstory. Yeah. So you're kind of in a time where it, they're just narrating. So even if you don't watch the show, you can just watch an episode and get it. I yeah. Dude, just I, smoke and watch this. It, it's just this. Bad bitch gangster with kids, and she's pulling like, you know, again. Not spoiling anything, Natalie. She's just it's her. It just shows how him and his grandma are wow. together, and you're just like, this is episode rules, dude. I can watch him. I love Fez. I can watch him, and then I can also watch Sydney Sweeney. And like, I think that this show's been great because it do, it does show. She's a great actress, actually, mm-hmm. and she's beautiful. The blonde. No, oh, the the mom. You're saying no, no, no. The blonde, the young, the younger girl with the huge boobs. Oh, <laughs> Jess. No, her uh, name is... Uh, no, not Jess, sorry. What's her name? What's her name? I know what you're talking about. The know. really pretty one. The one who's dating... Cassie. Cassie, Cassie. yeah. Is she there, has... Dude? The, she has the best... She has the this one line that, in the, it when she goes... <laughs> when he goes... Two different things. No, no, <laughs> no, but... There, like her acting. There was one, there, no, but, but there was one part in it where she goes... Where he... Where, like, Nate says to her, he's like, You are fucking crazy. And Maddie... Maddie is fuck. Maddie's, like, his crazy, like, um... A Spanish girlfriend who he's like, she will fucking kill you. Mm-hmm. She is crazy. And she, she goes, well, you know, you don't understand. I am fucking crazier. Can I tell you? What's and I'm like, hell me? yeah. <laughs> it, it's funny. Again, now I'm watching those scenes. And that triggers Nate's you. Point of view. That, that's a part where I'm like, you dumb. No, that's so funny. That's where I start getting mad. I was like a dude. And like, cause I've had, I had toxic relationships And he's like, before. and he's like, ah. And I've been there. And that's where like, there's parts where like, like mm. even like now with Corinne, like when we start fighting him. I, it just did to a point she goes, why are you smoking? I'm like, because I'm not getting there. Because I'm not getting to a point where I'm just like going to go back and forth. And I'm like, I can't deal with this. Yeah. So I'll just sit down, <laughs> smoke, and be like, I'm good. I don't care anymore. And like, because I've been in that place where it's like, oh, I, I just, 
you know, just anger. Can I tell you something? I've been thinking about this for a week, and I, I, I don't know if I would date a comic, but you, you are, and I think it's hilarious. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. That's not. Like, I'm saying this. I'm just saying it. It's funny because I was like, I would think to, I had a joke, and I was like, if I was dating a comic, and we were, like, and I was like mad at them, they were mad at each other. The next time you have sex, you just give them the light in the middle of them doing something. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I thought, just a way to piss him off. I don't he, know. He wrote That's a what, joke only for comics. Only if uh, someone was dating a comic. I don't know. I've heard that. that I've heard comics do that joke do that? on okay. stage. Okay. Okay. Court. I will never say that again. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> I don't go to all open mics. You know, I can't. I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> but like in Euphoria, like, do you guys watch it and then you go, oh, that reminds me of like this person I knew and that person. Yo, I didn't like, know anybody like that. Bro. The characters are so developed. Yeah. I just, yeah. Okay. There was, but there was always that kid in high school who like, like everyone kind of knew, but like, like tenth grade, he like disappeared for something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, like, everyone, everyone, yeah. there's always a kid like that. Like yeah. he was, you know, I heard he got into a fight with his stepdad. His mom kicked him out, can and I then he the was craziest, always some weird. Can shit I tell you like the craziest that? one yeah. for me is I, I knew a kid. It was freshman year, and we had in school detention, and we're just sitting in this room, and um, uh, we, he went up to the teacher. He goes, "Yeah, can I just go to the bathroom?" And like, they like the idea they make you leave your backpack and shit so you can't leave. And I'm not joking with you. Kid left, and we were like friends. Left, never saw him again. <laughs> never saw him again. He That's... left his backpack and never came back. And like years later, I remember seeing him on Facebook, and like he like changed his profile picture. And I was just like, "Yo, what the fuck happened?" And he was like, "Yo," and I, I, he wouldn't get into details, but he basically explained. He was like, "Yo, I, I my dad was gonna come pick me up, and I I can't have that. I couldn't have that." And I was like. Yeah, so like, I don't know where he I think he went to like I'm sure he went to another family member and yeah. then just like figured shit out. But like that's an insane thing to like it's it's like that. And then he's his girlfriend's 14. still going He never to came out to school, bit. so he missed the whole 14, year of school. Man. It's like a reverse like deadbeat dad situation. <laughs> <laughs> deadbeat son. It's the one just... dad usually leaves <laughs> yeah. and he's like, nah, oh. I'm gonna leave when you pick me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what <laughs> that's fucking weird. The son, the son leaves the family. <laughs> he sees his dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm it's gonna go get some cigarettes. You know, yeah, the son went out for milk. Yeah, the son went out for cigarettes and never came back. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm like, gonna go get a pop tart. It was yeah. Christmas Eve, <laughs> and my son left. It is my eight year old went out for a pack of smoke. <laughs> it is funny seeing like a, 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 a picture of like a parent on Christmas Eve just sitting there going like, I wish he'd come back. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good Sandler movie. What like uh, that that whole scenario? Yeah. Disappearing yeah, yeah. high school kid. Sandler Dude, would play the kid too. I love Sandler. Well, Sandler, I love Sandler because what he does is Netflix gives him like eighty million dollars, and yeah. then him and his friends just uh, they, they're like it, they, no, they just make Netflix movies. Him and his best friends with these That's like fucking, fucking awesome. scripts that I don't even know. I laugh hysterically, but they they <laughs> literally, I'm sure they're like, let's have a costume person. They're like, fuck that, we're wearing basketball shorts and t shirts, uh, <laughs> no matter what so the plot line. Well, yeah. It could be like a medieval times movie. And they're like, well, fuck you know that, like, we're wearing shit. we're wearing slippers, <laughs> well, slides. <laughs> You know like Adam Sandler else. when he uh, when he was doing a bunch of those movies, especially like early, in like the early two thousands, he would always the reason why they're like in Hawaii or like cool places because he just wanted a like, free vacation every time. That's so, fucking. That's dope. the way to live. Life. And, I, don't I mean, they're also that, that's they're fact. also funny. Like yeah. I laugh, I, don't, I, don't I laugh I'm at not, all of yeah. them. But can you like this David is a weird Spade? Thing. Fucking, yeah, it's hilarious. hilarious. Why are they f like? Why are those funny? Like the ones that he did all in that era. But the ones now, like Adam Sandler can't make a movie now. Nah, nah the ones that are good, bro. Uncut Gems was amazing. Bad. That's different. I'm what not talking about like Sandler. Like, the one with like Jennifer Hoobie Aniston? That what, was it? Oh, amazing. Just Go With It? Yeah. I fucking love that with the little kids. When but, she's like, can I do an accent? No, no, is that, no, the I, one where he plays just a cop. Oh, that is, oh, on the boat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. one's I think hilarious. That's also Jennifer Aniston, yeah. too, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, Adam Sandler? Yeah, Adam Sandler. Just yeah. Go With When they just yeah. go, when they go on the uh, cruise by accident with the guy gets murdered? Yes, I've seen that. And he he's like a really bad dad. Have you watched Hubie Halloween? Yeah, I've seen that. No. No? These are newer ones. Hubie Halloween, I think, is the newest weird Sandler what's way. it called Hubie Halloween he's a guy that loves Halloween and he's just running around town going Yo, do you guys remember what? the cobbler no he I did that know. movie about when he was a shoe cobbler yes it was like right around the time of, of Meet the Zohan Meet the Zohan <laughs> by the way, Zohan, by the way I've watched that movie more times than I can Meet the remember. Zohan yeah I, he also no he also no, had, he, had, he had the cobbler at the same time it was like he was a character but he was like an Italian shoe cobbler I know, I've never and seen that I never watched I know, oh, I know what movie you're talking people. about I didn't watch it I don't really remember shit, and then like the shoes he made were magic or like some shit yes yes I think they were magic he was like he's like the magic yeah, he had a couple one. weird ones. He definitely. But I will say, one. did you did you guys watch Meet the Zohan? Yeah. Did oh, you like in it? Theaters. I, so. 
I thought it was like super silly. I don't know. I think it's because I'm Israeli of why me and my family. You're like, Israeli? Mm hmm. My dad's Israeli. And like, oh, my, cool. So, like, when I watched it, it was so fun because my, when I'm like, even like, there's just little parts of it, like, you just knew, like, he's on the beach and he's like, he's in the military. So, he's on the beach, he's with ladies and he's naked. He's like flipping fish and he catches the fish in between oh, his yeah. ashes. I don't know what's name with that part. What I'm saying is, when he stands up, the, the military comes and they go, hey, and he sees him and goes, Shamuta. And you just, and he thought, I'm like, he just said a, a curse word, but they don't know because it's Hebrew. And I'm like, it was just like, as a kid, I was just like, I love this movie. It was so like, every like little moment. Authentic. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know what also a crazy run of movies was Rob Schneider. Like, remember the animal? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I remember the animal yeah. was funny though. When he turned into the animal at night. Yeah. And that was, was like, hilarious. That, and like, he did the animal and Deuce he was. Bigelow. Dude, I watched that with my mom. He had dog. a string of that's those weird. fucking <laughs> nuts <laughs> movies. That's a huge bitch. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, he was in the car. <laughs> we were saying that all summer. We were yeah, saying bro. that all summer. <laughs> just be on the bus saying that shit for no bro, reason. We were wild kids, though. So. That's a huge they bitch. They, the they can't make movies like this anymore. That, and that sucks. That really, I, I can't even make a rush hour type of movie anymore. Yeah, like where it's like oh, action comedy. Like you know, like it has to be like what's the issue that they're gonna kind of solve in the plot mm. a little bit, you know what I mean? Like you can't just be like two dudes hanging out, cracking jokes, solving a case together. It has to be like, but what else though? Do they save a non-binary individual? It's yeah. always, I don't know, it's like weird. I <laughs> think you're projecting. <laughs> like, I don't know, they just, it's they just not like They absolutely can still make movies like that. I think you're just projecting. You think so? Absolutely. I will say this about DC and I love him. He believes cancel culture is, uh, it's a big thing, but I think he thinks it, it's way bigger than than it is like I, 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 I don't think I, I think I mo- I, you, we just talked about euphoria where there's like kids doing crack and like like you watching them actively fucking they're showing their tits and shit like I mean that's people can go wild different but, yeah, that's it's like bit, drugs yeah but they're also adding like loopholes in that show and they also have like, non-binary characters and things like that in that show they're, they're also like struggling with Jules addiction. is beautiful yeah, there's addiction. It's like mental illness. Yeah, they're they're finding identity. a way through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Addiction. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, like I went on a um, I don't go out a lot, on a lot of dates either, but uh, when I have recently, like somehow Adam Sandler comes up, and a lot of the girls like are not fans of him. I don't really? think so, dude. This Screams one girl was like. Oh, I hate him. And I was like, what? Yeah. And I was like, why? And she's like, I just feel like, especially as like romantic comedy movies, like it's just unrealistic. Like, no, I feel no, like that's not all. No, he's realistic. No, and then, and then, and then she goes, I just feel like he's trying to show the world like how this loser dude can get with these girls. And I'm like, <laughs> and I said to her, I go, you think he made 50 first dates? To show the world how to get with girls with Alzheimer's, bro. That's a, she just <laughs> read a headline, bro. I was like, what you, she just read a headline and ran about. with it, bro. That's yeah. all that was. And then I, there was this other girl. I was like, you know, you're just talking about funny movies. And I'm like, mm. oh, like you ever see Happy Gilmore? And she goes, no, that's a dude movie. Sorry, I'm not a man, and I don't watch your dumb little dude Didn't movies. Need to go there, dumb but, little yeah. dude movies. <laughs> and I was like, I there was a girl like behind her. And I'm like, oh, excuse me, miss. She's like, hey, I'm like, you ever watch Happy Gilmore? And she's like, oh, I love I don't that watch movie. Dumb little dude movie. You're like, do you want to? I bet. Those two girls are those two girls fans of Trevor Noah. I have no idea. Okay, I'm just asking. Okay. That's the other thing I hate is when you're on a date with a girl and they just start like shitting on men as a whole species. I'm like, whoa. What is I, this? Sometimes weird. that's my favorite part of the date. I'm like, what is this? Just, just the for the just for the argument or the conversation, right? Yeah, yeah, because true. it's not going anywhere, you know. So like, might as well argue about something and you know, uh, see if we hang out again and whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're like self destruct. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> like I knew this I was mean, good. like let's go. Self destructing a date is one of the funniest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so fun. Self destructing before mean, it even gets off Tinder, no? dude. You don't do that. You don't. I used to a little bit, but now I just I've stopped taking things personal and like yeah, oh, don't arguing with people. So ever since then, person, I just yeah. don't care. Yeah, yeah. No, but it's not even that. Like you can also just like you just casually say things, and you're, they'll just like, wait, you really think not the way that I think? And like, yeah, I mean da 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 da, and you can just slowly drive a day. Like, but like, again, like I've gone home with girls who after that somehow. And that's the funnier part, right? Because you're disqualifying yourself. Immediately, right? But like, still being like, and you're cool with that. Hang out. That no, it's funny. I was watching something. That was it last night that brought up like negging, and they go, he goes, bro, girls don't want to go compliment her, but in a way that also isn't a compliment. And I, by accidently, all the time, will be like, you know, for your age, you look beautiful, and I'll just say things where I'm like not thinking quick, yeah. and people are like, Dil- Dylan, that, that is not a good way of saying that. And I was like, Dude, I think I'm accidentally negging. I think my I game think, is accidental. Yeah, I actually 
like I think I this. I thought she was gonna say she gotta go. I actually, I actually gotta go. <laughs> Bye. I, I said an hour. It's at an hour. <laughs> Bye. No, the other night th- this guy was like, I definitely hitting on me, and uh, he he was like, How old are you right now? Like, and I hadn't uh, seen this guy right now. Right now so whatever. <laughs> like, can you be? Can you be sixteen later? <laughs> and uh, he was like. Really hitting on me. I haven't seen this guy in a while. Good looking and dude. Yeah, he's cute. Comedian? Like, uh, no, not really. Whatever. Not, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he hears that guy is tight, oh, bro. Shit. Not really. That means he's touched the mic definitely at least once. <laughs> this nigga sucks. That's so. Funny. What, what, what no, he is saying, though? very successful. Oh. And okay. um, and anyways, he was just like really like hitting on me. I could tell. And then mm. uh. Oh, I asked how old he was, and then he told me, and then I, I was like, "How old am I?" And he was like, "Let's guess, twenty-one." And I was like, "I was like, you know, you're supposed to nag me." And he was like, "Okay, fifty-seven." I was like, "Better." <laughs> and then he was like, "He was like, he was like, am I really supposed to nag you?" And I'm like, "Yeah, you have to like ignore me and like nag me if you if you like." That me. was the point of the episode, you like that? and that's what I said to him, and he was like, "Oh, okay." And then he just ignored me for the rest of the whole night. Works like a charm. <laughs> By the way, guys don't understand. Take direct. That, that was episode two. Is like it's a dude fighting with his wife, uh-huh. and she just screamed. I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> did you like it though? Like, no, it really, really bothered me. Banter. Exactly. Oh, why did wait, you, you wanted more banter? Wait, now it's kind of working. What? Why did you tell me you wanted more banter or something from? No, me? I was just like fucking her out. <laughs> and <laughs> and then I was like, "God damn it!" I, wait, I would listened. you would you have wanted to go home with that person? I wouldn't have gone home with them. Right, you went to his house, not. No. Oh. <laughs> no, but I was, it was just like his funny. home. Because I, like, no, I was like, "You're doing this wrong. You have to really nag me." Yeah, I, talk, really? Talk that shit. word. You make that word sound like penetrational. I don't like the word. <laughs> She's like, stupid. "You have to really nag me." I'm just like, Damn, right, right. Word sounds like sounds like peg. That's why. Sounds nagging, a bit like pegging. Peg. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. No, say, he was yeah. like. A, Oh, he's like, I'm going downstairs to go on stage. And I was like, okay, I'll come watch and give you notes. And he's like, don't worry, I'll, I'll <laughs> be. And I was just fucking around. And, and and then he's like, don't worry, I'll come back upstairs. I'm like, you're not supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I left the club before he went on and I DM him. I was yeah, like, I how was your I set? Think I'm and he never, and he never read every girl it. Oh, oh my God. Well, he, he never read it. Uh-uh. And that made you more Annoyed. curious. But he has, two, he has a lot of followers. Oh, he followers you sent him notes for real? No, I just said, how was your set? Oh, I thought you were like, yeah, I said... Shit opener. <laughs> what a way to close. <laughs> yeah, no, it's I, I have noticed like, you know, girls really respond to like no attention. Oh, for sure. It's really annoying. It's really crazy. But it was like, I didn't even like, it was just like, I'm just like, uh, you know. I, 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 I've i been trying to work on this one bit because uh, I go, I have a one real sister and then I have three stepsisters. Mm-hmm. So I go, you know, it's women will, I feel like women will tell you like, this is how to treat a, this is how to treat a girl. But as that's a guy, the opposite. It's the opposite. Do the opposite. So that's what I'm saying is a weird thing to have. So I grew up like around so many like sisters, sisters and them yeah. telling me like this height. My mom being like, be a gentleman, do this. But also Ugh. hearing my sister be like, he's not texting back. Why? Why? Yeah. Why is he not texting back? And then like watching it work and like watching that guy get further than this guy over here who was like by her every hand and foot and like right. watching certain guys interact with my sisters was like, oh, that guy gets farther and he's just. Well, kind of being a dick. You know, I grew up around, I have five brothers. So, wow. and, uh, and I have one sister, but it's interesting with me is like, I see like, uh, I don't have a boyfriend right now. And I, I've been in a bunch of long-term relationships, but I haven't in a, in a while. It's probably because I've been dating a lot of um, like, you know, trust fund heroin addicts lately. <laughs> so those are very unstable. <laughs> my friend goes, my friend goes, group chat? my friend goes, you, you date the worst out of the, I'm like, why can't I just meet a normal guy? And she goes, because the, the the dating pools you choose from, she goes, you choose from guys you meet in rehab, comedians, and billionaires. She goes, this is the least stable. They're almost all unstable. Three gr- like yeah, yeah. groups of people you'll Yeah, but ever- that last one, you yeah. can make work. Oh, uh, I mean, no. Yeah. Uh, no. No, it's like too much. You look at Kim, you know, mm. she's like, hey, what's up, Skeet? So it's just like. No, but like, well. so, so, but like, I, I look at like, I'm like pretty cool about most things, but like, obviously, whatever, I have my own side of Chloe, Chloe-ness, but, uh, but then all these girls who are like these really high maintenance, like annoying, like when I film like the sketches with Ryan Long and I, I act like the needy girlfriend, like why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Mm-hmm. Like looking through the phone and like mm. being a psycho, like I don't do any of that mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. And these girls like have these boyfriends and they're like engaged and like 
are these like uptight, like needy so bitches, think, but I'm I'm none of those things. I think as a from my guy's point of view, it's a weird thing of wanting someone who's like, go do you, go do your own thing, but also someone who's like, what are you doing? I think guys mm. really do like that. And like I've even learning that more like recently where you it's know? like you as a, a guy wants a does want a girl that goes like, no, 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 go do you. I don't care. Like, we can do whatever. I will never get mad. But also, at the same time, kind of mean, like, wait, what are you doing? Like, hey, like, texting you, like, yeah. hey, like, are you having fun? How How's the boys? Like, no, I don't want to do that shit at all. I don't want that shit. I don't want to every, nag. Every, a lot of people are different. I don't want to nag. Wanna nag. <laughs> and I, don't, I definitely don't want a person hitting me up, asking me what I'm doing it every, depends, every right? day. It depends. It varies, but it's yeah, not yeah, every. I don't think it's every. Sounds like you don't want pussy. <laughs> I get pussy. <laughs> I feel like it's very like, I just want to, like, hang out, watch sports, hit beers. Like, why Why can't we just do that with the people we like, just we hang fuck? out with? Shit. Just fuck. <laughs> shit. Nah. No, oh, bro, what I'd rather, are you doing later? <laughs> I'd rather be in love. I don't want to. I don't want no more holes like, anymore. I want to get mad. Okay. I'd rather be in love. Like too. I'll like get mad about random shit. Like say if like I like miss a flight or something, I'll like throw my phone against the wall or something. Really? But yeah. every time you miss, a flight? no, like something stupid like that. Right, but then right. like I'll never be like, why are you talking to that girl? That's interesting. Mm. But I'm not like that. And then, mm. and then, like. You, jealous. You're not jealous. I don't get, like, mad like that. But, like, I'll just, like, sometimes I have, like, you know. And then, uh, and then also, like, my my drinking gets in the way. Because, like, then I'll just, like, go on a little bender and, and ghost. Mm. And then the guys are like, you don't care about me. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, a guy wants. I mean, at least. I, I guess I'm just like not me. maternal. What is maternal? Self awareness is key. Like, kind of like mother. Yeah. Right? That's oh, what mother, guys oh, okay. want. They want like oh, these. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then I'm always like these guys and these guys who hang out with these girls who are like so girly all the time and like like these just annoying bitches. Like that's kind of fucking gay. It's like why <laughs> your best friend is a girl. <laughs> that like, is who's, really who's gay. Who's so lame I don't know and like she just wants to go. Either, yeah. But why are you hanging out with her nonstop? No, no, no. What do you guys but talk ag- about? But my again, girlfriend like, girly, yeah. But when dudes have like girl best friends, I also think that's weird. No, but no, but you're with your girlfriend nonstop. Opposite. You're with your girlfriend nonstop. Yeah. You're watching TV with her nonstop. You're with her all the time getting that's meals why, and that's meals. Why it's and what are you guys like... talking about? Like, you're gay. Yeah, we, we are talking about RuPaul's Drag Sorry. Race. <laughs> we are, yeah, yeah. That's why well, I, I agree. Like that. Honestly, like, kind of, I agree. No, yeah. being in a relationship yeah. makes you a little more gay, bro. You're watching RuPaul's Drag Race. You're fucking... No, but you know, I, that's, why, that's why I love, team. like, like it's, it, it is fun dating Corinne because, like, we went to Jackass and there's a part where she, like, almost... Like, I think I said it before. Oh, yeah, I yeah, she almost She almost threw up at, like, a part. She was like... And I was like... What part? Um. Oh, you know at the very end, you watched it. I'm I didn't watch it. Wasn't like the crab. There's no spoiler. I mean, it's. <laughs> he goes, wait, what part? Oh, I don't want. Well, I want to watch. Did you spoil it? It was um. It, every time they brought up um like it was uh like pig cum, pig semen, oh. and then they were doing like a little spin thing, but also had oh, like okay. semen involved, gross. and oh, it was a lot. It was like, and then they were Mm-mm. spinning and whatnot, and that is uh, gross. so I think we lost Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom. Why are you serious? Too much. No. Um. She uh she just couldn't watch that. She like and she like almost threw up and I was like, Did you just almost throw up? I was like, That's hot. And she was like, Why? She like tweeted about it and I was like, So you don't want a girl to even like what you like. No You but, wanted to like No, but what 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 made it hot in a sense was like we're like it's like the whole it's like the full jackass experience. It's like at one part, like jackass is fun because at one part you're always gonna be like, ah, I can't watch this. This is like a lot for me. And like it's cool because you understand, like kind of what she's saying, like there's certain girls who are like like you just said like that like oh, why would I ever watch a go watch a dumb dude movie? Why would I go mm. watch Jackass and like do this? But yeah. no, Corinne's like no. This is what do you mean? These okay. are legends. Mm. These, this is hilarious. Mm-hmm. But also at the same part, she's like, nope, I'm out of this part. And I was like giggling myself. Like mm. we, she uh, she I'm got not- the tickets. I got the food. I spent sixty dollars. Like oh sorry. Forty-five dollars, actually, Yo, on just snacks. Are y'all gonna go see Batman? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go see Batman. Oh, we can, I mean, I'm not tagging along, but it's supposed to look dope. I yeah, can't. That shit does look fine. I hate going to movies with people, by the way. Really? I was thinking about going by I myself. I better invite you. But I was thinking about going by myself. No, it's nothing personal. I just hate. No, no, I wasn't. People's movie at you know, and then you sit next to them, and then Poopy's they do the thing Eddie. in the middle of the movie. They go. Oh, dude, I bet, I bet it's the doctor. I'm telling you it's a doctor. <laughs> you it's a doctor. Do you watch no, movies like, in black neighborhoods? Either, either, either or, or, either or do you, you know watch what bothers no. me no. a lot, too? The way, when it, like, you waited till the middle Sorry. of the movie to open a fucking like, uh, M&M's bag or something like that. I only that. do it if, oh, I, if I forget. That shit would dr- popcorn yeah, you start, crunching. By the way, I don't know if it's because I, uh, I started going to movies more obviously recently now it's open. I always get uh, the watermelon sour patch. And I was, just, I was proud of myself because I went to Jackass. And I was sitting there. I was like, wait. 
open the box and this you gotta remember always open your the box to check has plastic rip that shit open put it into the box throw the plastic away and i felt so i felt like i just did everyone like a service yeah you, I was like, ev you do everyone a service show when you do, do shit I, like that i don't i don't you would hate going to a movie with Derek Derek Gaines because he just goes. I, <laughs> oh, I, I tap people though. I tap people. For I, sure. I do. I, yeah, I, you, I think I do the tap. I'll do a tap. I'll be like, uh, like let's say like Batman oh, is laugh, like, grab, yeah, 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 like if Batman like jobs and does something wild, I'll be like. Yeah. No, I, I wanted to be an empty movie theater. I went to go see the Joker really? in theaters, and yeah, there was this guy yeah. when he was like about to fuck that girl. Wait, wait, the which joke, movie? I'm the sorry. Joke, the, the Joker. Joker, yeah, yeah, Joker, Joker. Jared Leto's about to fuck that girl. Oh, wait. You're like, have the, sex? Oh, you're or? talking about yeah. Jared Leto. I, I didn't really see that he, one. He, so he, as he's about to fuck that girl, somebody yeah. goes, yeah, get it, boy. Get uh, it. And I was like, Magic man, Johnson just, Theater. No, where was that? <laughs> you know what's kind of <laughs> shitty about that is, I don't know why, I feel like every time I'd watch the Joker, just now, every time you get to that part, I feel like your brain's going to just kind of slowly hear that every time. Like if you hear the That's time, what I'm saying. you know, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, it like it. now you know every time yeah. you get to that part where he's like, "You want to go back upstairs?" You just hear, yeah, do it. like in the back of your head. Ah, oh, I would hate it. It's trauma. Wait, no. you saw the new Batman? No, no, no we're, we're talking, talking we're about talking about, about possibly go seeing it. And I he was like, honestly, yeah. I don't want. to. Oh, I, I love our patents, and I think he's yeah, so. Yeah, hot. No, he just said he doesn't like going to movies with people. Yeah, I like going by myself. I used to always do that. Like if I had a show, and then I had another show, and I'd like. Time, if I say like a seven and then like a, an oh, ele yeah, kill eleven time. or something, I'd always go, I'd go to the movies. You know, know what I was doing for a while before the pandemic, like when the um, like End Game, all the big Marvel movies, like those End Infin Infinity War, when those movies were coming out, they'd be so packed, and I hated movie etiquette. You see, you would love this trick. You want to get around movie etiquette? Go to an eight a.m. show. Go, go see Batman. Oh, yeah. go, go see, like, if you want to see the new Batman, go to, like, yeah, like, 8, nice. 9 a.m. 8 a.m. to see him. A.m. is a little too early, but 10 a.m. So, so I, I lived, uh, granted, I lived across from the IPIC that was in, um, okay, yeah. by, like, uh, downtown. But I'm just saying it's more like, if you live next, close to a theater, go early. Because, bro, people are just in there, like, it's we're true. just going to enjoy this movie. Mm -hmm. I'm here to enjoy the movie. But I've never been in a more quiet theater. Yeah. I watched Endgame, and I think the only time anyone cheered was when... Cap spoilers. Oh, when Cap uh, got the fucking hammer, and then at the very end, when like I think when like uh, like Iron Man died, people like clapped at the like the bro, funeral. I dozed off shit. in Endgame, bro. I hated when when he told me that. I, I, I'm <laughs> I just when they started going back in time, I was like, nope. They're literally. I called him scenes. when they're so excited. I go, what do you think? He was like, I fell asleep. I woke up when when they did Thanos time travel. Was I was his out. Finger and taking that's when he out. woke up. Yeah. When he his finger. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much at that point when he was and I, I caught you that got line. Hit the tie I caught the, the best first line of put the him movie. Out, the though. Thing woke up, he's like, "What happened?" I caught the best line in the, the movie. The wake up stone. When she, when he's <laughs> am I, like, "Am I a chicken? Am I a chicken?" And, but that, that was it though. Like that, and that was the climax of the movie. But I just like the part when she, they were like, "What are you?" And he's like, "I'm inevitable." I was that like, is oh, part. This is the, that, that's the best line in the movie. It's like wow. unbreakable. Yeah, I'll bro, tell you that what. Shit is good. I never watched like, any of the Avengers movies until yeah. a week ago. I watched really? them all in one week. What? Dude, you're crazy. It's like and Lord of the like, Rings for me. I right. It's too much superhero. I hate you like Lord of the Rings? Yeah, I love it. I never yeah, watched like it. I like the first one. I love the first one. L-O-T-R. I watched it all in a row. I never Lord of the Rings more I, than I, Harry I do, Potter? I just do, I do, event, I do I Marvel liked it. and Star Wars hard. I'll do them all. Those are my two. Those are my I watched two Battleship stars. last night. What? Battleship? Battleship? That movie with Rihanna in it? Yeah. How was it? Like the one where it's about the game Battleship in a sense? Kind of, yeah. I was, I was stuck in the globe. It wasn't bad because the, there's two characters. Did, did they do the hot. shot? Did like did they ever zoom out and you kind of saw like yeah the globe the. Uh, the that was the it's old so one, Bruce Willis, right? Probably Battleship. Or mm. something. Like, I was Braveheart. So wait, what did you think of the Avengers Braveheart. movies? Braveheart. Oh, amazing! Right. I was calling my friends. I was like, bro, can you believe this Thanos guy? <laughs> and they're like, dude, that was like ten years ago. Yeah, That's he's so also fun. the best dude, part of it. Wait, have you seen the new Spider Man? Uh, that was amazing. Yeah, I Insane. loved it. They, really they were really cracking me up. In it. Did you watch <laughs> yeah, the old really ones? Good. Yeah. So that was the one thing Corinne didn't. I think she. I mean, I think she did watch some of the old ones, but uh, I, I don't think she's seen it yet. But it was one of those things. Like, I saw that with Derek, and that was kind of fun because the entire time we we're just like, I hate when people do that. I hated the new <laughs> Scream. I walked. I out. didn't see it yet. I, I love. I that's a home, oh, that's a home watch out. for me. I love yeah. Scream. Scream's I, a home I watched watch series or the movie. The movies. No, okay. Okay. I watched I all the out. screams. That's a movie we'd watch on the couch one day. Yeah, like, yeah, I watched all the screams again in the pandemic, like all movie? in a row. I love Scream. Really? I fucking love Scream. Scream is a film. I love horror movies. I, I watch them alone. I can't. I watch. I watch horror movies alone at like eight a.m. for the comedic value. I watch. No, I watched Insidious once on acid though, and that was terrible. Oh, why? Why would you do that? I don't know. I can't even watch it. Sober. 
I watched it on acid. It you know was, what I tried to watch on acid that was so like like that was too like it was like I thought it was gonna be a good idea. I always talk off the mic. I thought it was gonna be a good idea to do this, but it wasn't. I was on acid. I was watching Fair and Loathing in Las Vegas, and I thought it would have added to the experience, and it didn't. I still didn't that finish movie the movie. Sucks. It does suck. It I'm does like, suck. What are we doing? I tried to like it. You know it you does. gotta watch. You gotta watch True Romance. True Romance. True, True Romance. Dude, Dude, I tried watching during like my stoner kid phase, and I was like, I'm gonna watch all the stoner movies. I put it on in like 30 minutes. I was like, this, oh, I, don't I love know. Quarantino. Tarantino's the best. Yeah, I like Quarantino. Yeah, I was like, Quentin. who's Quarantino? Because you watched the movies during the um, yeah. That was retarded. That was <laughs> Quarantino. Quarantino. I think I got HOC over here. <laughs> What's your favorite uh, Tarantino movie? Do you even movie? know what that means? What's your favorite oh, Quarantino movie? High of Contact. Uh, favorite Quarantino? Quarantino. I like True Romance, I, and I like Inglorious Bastards a lot. Mm. Inglorious I, Bastards. I like, I like Death Proof. Um, you like all the, uh, like... Not the niche so. ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Inglorious yeah. Bastards, I don't think is niche. That's what uh, Inglorious Bastards, and um, I think I think Django's first. I mean, no. Inglourious. Kill yeah. Kill Bill is a bang. Kill Bill, yeah. yeah. My mom loves Kill Bill. Just yeah, I like those two so much. I mean, uh, yeah, I like dude, all the those bear, ju- dude, the bear Jew scene in Inglorious Bastards. Are you gonna say again? I love again, Bastards. again Bastards. by the way, got, by the by the way, uh, totally biased, one hundred percent coming out of bias. But like that one scene alone, I remember being a kid and being like. I also like David Lynch. You were watching Love David, David Lynch. Lynch. No, yeah. I'm, not I'm not gonna lie, Inland Empire was a horrifying movie to watch and it wasn't even that scary yeah, and, I, and I could barely get through. He shot it with like a DSLR. He shot himself on like a regular old tape He's camera. He's insane. Yeah, he is. He's crazy. But yeah, Love Him Holland Drive, Blue Velvet. See, I, I, What's your favorite Quarantino? <laughs> Quarantine. I don't know, but I, I like like I said, I like watching movies by myself. I just hate watching them with That's people. What, Andre, that, even if it's at my house, because really? they always do the thing. That I, does not answer the question. <laughs> Quarantino. <laughs> Which is your favorite movie? I, 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 uh, it's gonna. Uh, Kill Bill, you said probably, right? Yeah, Kill Bill's good. I mean, it sounds happy. I mean, you dress but... like her. <laughs> 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 What's, what are some other ones? Um, <laughs> Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I think Once it was. Upon, I didn't see that. You didn't see it? Um, I thought it was fire. I mean, it's you know, I know it's funny. You called me. That was one of the movies. He's that's like one of the three things he's ever called me about. And he's been like, dude, you have to watch this. Stuff and watched it. Hated that movie. <laughs> really? <laughs> Hated that movie. I love first that movie. two hours of that movie was annoying. That's as fuck, what people right? say. Yeah, yeah, I just haven't watched it. That's what he always does. He always saves like the big bloody scene for the end. Like yeah. the last that, fifteen minutes. No, but like, like fucking, that. But the really? last fifteen minutes of that movie, almost worth it. I almost agree. worth sitting there for two hours. You think? Mm. I walked through the filming of that. And the part that I walked through didn't make it into the movie. What part was that? There was like supposed to be this scene with like a big mural of them going to see hair, like with this big mural outside. I'll find it. And I I was in LA at the time and I walked through and I was like, fuck, this is a movie. I would love to just see awkward (laughs) Natalie walk by, look right into the camera and be like, they weren't filming. They were setting up. I saw a bunch of seventies extras. Anyway, that's pretty and, funny. Uh, but I yes, I agree that the they were last like, "Hey, you look like you're in the seventies. Get over here with your haircut." Yeah, I like that. By mistake, <laughs> Natalie has a bigger credit it? than I do. <laughs> I find the mural. It sucks. That's infuriating. <laughs> so infuriating. All of us. I don't know. What we... uh, imagine being cut out. Oh, that's <laughs> I will. I, I, speaking of getting cut, I don't think I've said this to you guys. It's funny. Uh, I was in a Super Bowl commercial. Were you really? And, uh, yeah. And uh, no, 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 I was in it. I was in a Super Bowl commercial. Played during the Super Bowl. Hundred percent have that. Congrats. And uh, this year? Uh, last year. Oh, okay. Part two was supposed to air this year, and I, I, I'm at. But this time, I'm at like a party with people. Last year, I literally had my brother send me the video like on like my phone. I think I was at a show or something. I was. I uh, watched them paint the, this oh, while I was at mural. school for like it took them like a month. <laughs> And it just ended up not making it. So anymore. this is the only thing we film. were able to pull up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. If it's Natalie's story, <laughs> she, her fingers are like, she's like, wait, what do I want? I'll tell you hey, the real answer. Can you go back to that thing you just did, the camera? I love the two camera angles on Dylan. <laughs> it's two different ones. I'll tell you the real Dylan reason the after, but I'm not Dylan from the right. <laughs> he set that up. Dylan from the That's so funny. Yeah, Dylan, you got two shots. <laughs> you guys have none. I have two. Right? You I'm got cut, cut out. <laughs> You're cut. Um, no, but uh, part, two, commercial? part two was supposed to air. It was so, but this is the best part about, again, cool part. Not only just like, not a commercial of like, Hey Jim, you like butthole cream? It wasn't like anything like a commercial. What was it? Can I pull it up? N- I, actually, I've tried looking it up. I don't think they've uploaded it yet. Mm-hmm. It was CBS. is a short, not documentary, a short like little scene about how the Indian, uh, Indianapolis Colts went from the Baltimore Colts to the and they moved to Indiana. Mm. It was a little like short little vignette. 
like what, like a little short story, like like it was like Vignette. ten minute, fifteen, whatever. Part two was supposed to air this year, and I get an email like two weeks before the Super Bowl, and I'm just like trying to keep. I would never like I wasn't gonna like tell Corinne, but like towards the end, she was like, "Yeah, hey, I think I have a party we're gonna go to," and I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be." Fun. I know a party you went to. I was like, "Oh, it's, yeah. it's just it's just gonna be funny to kind of sit there and just be like, everyone's watching the commercials and be like." Like, uh, I mean, play like, play it off, play all cool. I get it, an email like a week before the fucking Super Bowl. It's like, hey guys, uh, CBS has decided not to air part two. Sorry, thank you everyone for all your work. Damn. And I was just like, that's, <coughs> oh, that's man. fuck, man. Damn. Happens, bro. How do you air half? Did half half did that bad? It wasn't worth it to do the part two. Well, it could be anything, man. Something yeah. more TV just stinks. Hey, you know what I mean, well, you're doing you're doing TV shit now. Uh, I did want to say this earlier. Uh, Andre is one of my favorite comedians to watch on stage. Not let alone just how much. I don't want to say you don't care. The energy of Andre on stage is just like, I'm gonna kind of just do me. If you guys want to get on board or not, it's it's up to right, you. Right, right. And uh, you're doing you're well, doing more but... shit with TV now. Can you talk about any of it? I know you um, always post about you're doing shit. Also, yeah, Andre just... loves to post that he's eating meals. That are very fancy all the time. Well, you got it. What's the point if you're not? I've been uh, screenshotting yeah. them. You've repeated. Have I? You've repeated. I've been screenshotting. Maybe, maybe once, once or twice. I have, I have a folder in my phone called oh, Andre's Food Pictures. That's goes, weird that you have a folder good. in your phone of food <laughs> you, I've eaten. You posted the, the same that's picture insane. of octopus twice. <laughs> oh, you know, if I do that, I think <laughs> I think it's because I ate it already and it's the same. And I'm like, oh, I forgot to post it. I'm like, oh, I haven't. I already did the picture. Oh, yeah. So I re-upload it. You know <laughs> what I mean? He's like, this is fire. I remember when I ate this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember what I ate, bro. I hate you. That's the only time I have done that. Yeah, that's the only. That's the only time I'll do that. Right. You know what I mean? I feel you, man. Do your thing, bro. Yeah. No, that, are you doing? Uh, are you doing writing stuff with TV? Or are you doing? Uh, yeah, in front of the camera. Some writing stuff, and then I don't know. You audition for voiceover cameras, and you know, I don't know. You got the you got like the proper equipment to the voiceover stuff. Yeah, I just yeah. recently got it actually. Yeah, like that shit Andre, makes a big difference. I feel like Andre got. Uh, I'd be sending huge. voice notes into my manager. I'd be like, hey, bro, man. no, <laughs> that's what I was doing too. Yeah, exactly. Nah, Oh, everything, man. yeah. Wait, you what happened? in yourself. Talking about like the voiceover, like doing voiceover auditions. Oh, nah, because sure. you got to remember when you send that in. There's other people that have like these sure mics in a yeah. booth, and they're yeah. like, and they're real voiceover actors too. Like, too. like yeah, you know what I mean? They're like mm. in a world, and you're over here like, yo, in a world and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like an ambulance. Yo. Uh, anyways, <laughs> yo, hope y'all pick me. All right, this shit is the worst. Hey, yo, bro. get the fuck out the street. <laughs> right, you know what I mean? Do this read for this Nike commercial, and you right. just literally have to lock yourself in the deepest part of your apartment and fucking close the windows and the shit is worse and it doesn't come out good you still need the equipment dude and in those voiceover thing like the descriptions like it's always yeah. like i'm like is that what you want yeah someone i saw one you know what i was like we need someone with like a like macklemore or g easy type voice and i no, was can just I tell you like, something this what is this, this helps you or anyone i this is i realized this recently I was writing something, and um, believe it or not, and but I was going over with Kevin, and I, it was like had him speaking, so we we're going over lines, and then he starts reading it exactly how I read it. I was like, nah, "This is this is it, but just say it, say it fun, say you. Yeah, this is a general idea of where you need to yeah. go. <laughs> but Personality. not like funny, but it was like when I feel like every audition, you're never supposed to say the words exactly how it's written. It's like, and I'm just saying, even for myself, like I remember when we were always auditioning a bunch at one point, like I'm doing a lot of like, obviously now it's like zoom auditions, video auditions, mostly to start, but it's like, never read the script. Exactly. Like, hmm. I, I, I don't know. That's like, it's obviously an obvious answer, but it's like, I don't think you should ever read the script exactly. Unless it's like Tarantino. I'm like, Hey man, this is how yeah. it's fucking written. Yeah. I think for those like lower level yeah, jobs. Dylan's like stakes are so crazy, bro. <laughs> His stakes are always just right. so it's high, always like, bro. He's like, unless you're doing Tarantino or unless you're doing a local yeah. commercial no, for CBS. Saying, I'm saying like, it's the right. I think unless the, you're Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if you're doing Tarantino, nuclear. you're not doing this other shit down here. You're not really getting it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate to tell you. You're not, you're <laughs> not middle ground. Quarantino. <laughs> you're not on the Quarantinos. No, but like. I don't think they have that great of writers for like a shitty commercial that's paying twelve hundred dollars. I don't think they care. I think they Someone literally. I think they want a guy that's gonna come in for twelve hundred dollars and make it funny, make it a memorable commercial, and have someone like Andre you King. Definitely like, gets paid more than twelve hundred dollars. No, 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 but I'm saying for like a commercial. <laughs> but they, when, the, it depends on the commercial. I'm saying, exactly though. what I'm saying is if, if like a commercial's paying like even it's like I mean, even like that, the CBS thing. I'm sure at one point they were like, I, like even when I, I remember when I was going there, I was like these lines are like ah. I did a commercial once for HPV. I was like. 
twelve hundred dollars. That That's pretty dope. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. Your face is. How, how, would you do like a day? It, yeah, it was like one day. How, much, the first how long thing did you I have booked. HPV? Um, I had HPV for one day. One day, <laughs> and like, I had a cap and gown on in the picture. It was like That's amazing. Super, it was like yeah, less than an hour chill. of work, probably. Like yeah, it was chill. It was chill. It's like yeah. honestly too like. It it really they, the way they cater to it. I mean, it's really nice for the day. You're like, wow, you guys really go in. Yeah, yeah. I'm nobody. It's nice. <laughs> you guys, yeah. it, it's just like, all right, it's good cool. Experience. One of my, nice. one of my, uh, he actually DC is my also my comedy hero. Uh, one of the hard, one of the <laughs> one of the times he, the, one of the hardest times he's ever made me laugh is uh, he had a, a, a gig on like CBS where I was like an extra, but he had like speaking lines and he had to record well, it's not his an phone. Extra, I auditioned and, for uh, it. Not extra, but like, yes. <laughs> that's not a oh, sorry. Sorry. Big but fucking big, difference. It is a big difference. <laughs> he's showing me like. This see on, on the on the on his phone and he's just like he's talking he comes in he goes hey 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 whoa 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 or like something like that like whoa 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 guys and he just turns to me he goes i was only supposed to say one whoa <laughs> <laughs> it was only supposed to be two yeah and dude, to be, yeah yeah i don't know but i said yeah 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 i realized i did that and think that was and, it and he, just, and he just bumped me he goes i was only supposed to say one yeah <laughs> I'm like out here improvising. That's, no, that's not what improv. I was saying. <laughs> it's definitely not what I was saying. All right. I would say like, these, these these auditions kind of like hurt your feelings a little bit. Oh, yeah, 100%. They, 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 like, you audition for stuff? Never. Really? I mean, you Chloe, would. That's crazy. You I'm telling you right now, I bet you'll get an uh, you'll get signed to a bigger show before any of us. Really? I've never auditioned for anything. I think you, really. I just started to. I'll, I'm, I'm telling terrible. you. I don't I'm even know how to go about it. I'm terrible at it. On let's talk after the show. You could get auditions. Because they, I don't, don't want to say like they, it's it's like unique people. Like yeah. I feel like those are like like Fez. No, yeah. so that's the thing. I'm like, uh, you know, I'm like, oh, I think I'm unique. I got a deep voice. I guess I'm know. deep. Uh, I have a black voice and I'm Asian. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm unique yeah. enough, and then, dude. And then you go into these audition rooms. Yes, I'm in the lobby and it's like online. And you just see thirty people that are like you. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, oh man, I yeah. thought I was like. I definitely have like a unique sounding voice. Yeah, yeah, like the sound of my actual people. Like, I'm just, mm-hmm. I'm just saying, pack a like, day cigarette smoker. I know, kind of. right? <laughs> since, since I was like five, really? my voice really? has been this deep. All my brothers are like, you smell like you've been smoking a pack a day. I'm like, I'm literally eight. That's, <laughs> that's <laughs> no, but like I'm saying like is like this. even like with the joke about like euphoria and shit like. More of those shows are yeah. obviously apparent. <coughs> Chloe, you should be an actor. Very like, sweet of you. I always I, wanted I, I to act, think, but I, I think, never have taken myself seriously enough. Like, even when we were recording up. after like Caroline's, like I think you're like I, I I'm just like a, 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 I told Corinne, I go, I want to shave my head so I don't want to be another white guy with swoopy hair. I'm sick of just having a swoopy yeah. nah, the hair's haircut. Good. Hair's good. <laughs> no, I'm it saying is, like it's good it to is, have nice. It no, it's good. Yeah, but I, 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 like you said, you go into an audition and there's a bunch of people like you, like Chloe. I don't think you're gonna be going into an audition anytime soon, and just gonna be like, oh, this girl also has like a deep, like a deeper voice, and like yeah. is like it, it's it's a certain thing of like, oh no, like that's like you need like Feds like on like mm-hmm. Euphoria, like all those people on Euphoria. Yeah. There's no Honestly, one that's like, oh yeah, keep, you look like this person. I think yeah, if yeah, you yeah, had an yeah. agent and they keep making. Episodes of Shameless, you could probably get an audition or something like that. Well, I might suck at acting. I, <laughs> I like, I like but if they also, want you to be yourself, then this is this is see. I told you accidental negging. I was like, you could be an actress, you could be an amazing, or you're gonna be a drug addict on TV doing drugs. <laughs> Go put heroin in your veins on TV, bro. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars an episode. Do it. Do it. Do it. Such a negging, like again, <laughs> accidental negging. You got to Um, thank you guys. We, let's do oh, plugs. Uh, uh, we have plugs. We were supposed to do plugs. Uh, plugs a while ago, but we smoked uh, weed on the show. Um, guys, thank you again so much for coming out, Andre and Chloe. Uh, Thanks for having us. Plug Thanks music in a fun. little bit. Maybe if maybe if it's plug music, Natalie would like. She'd she'd get it asap. If yeah, it was maybe uh, if it was her put some ti song, on. <laughs> yeah, that should be the plug music for today. But um, guys, this is dope. I've been dying. Like how he just stopped hosting too. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, where you, were you, you for the past out. hour? Like I'm done, bro. I told you six points. <laughs> You have, like, you have like a hard 45 minutes in you. <laughs> and you're like, I'm, I'm I don't get paid for an hour and a half. Yeah. Relax. Uh, guys, this is Dope Up and Dying. If you're watching this right now, you're on my page. But we're moving it over to Dope Up. He treated this like a sales job. He treated it like the sales job, 4 p.m. <laughs> get the bug out of here. No more, bro. Yeah. Um, That's so funny. Guys, this is Doped Up and Dying. If you're watching this right now, you're on my page on YouTube, but we're moving it to Doped Up page. So go follow Doped Up Podcast on YouTube right now. Please uh, give us a follow. Give us a like. <laughs> Guys, uh, if you're on Instagram, go follow me at Dylan J. Negri. Also, if you want to see me do stand-up, go to DylanComedy.com. All my dates and stuff are on there. Uh, Kevin Sanchez, Big Poppy, got anything to plug? Uh, it's Kevin Sanchez on Instagram, Papa Sanchez on Twitter. Uh, that's it. 
Uh, follow me at DC Does on Instagram. That's it. Andre Kim, got anything? Fu- anything to plug? Yeah. Uh, hey, what's up, people? Especially uh, Andre the comedian on Instagram. Uh, if you're in Connecticut, uh, March 17th, St. Patty's Day, I'll be uh, headlining Stress Factory, and then Ooh. March 23rd, uh, the Stress Factory in New Brunswick. That's a Wednesday, uh, and then the last Wednesday of March, I think it's the thirtieth, the Laugh Factory in Hollywood. Fire! I'll be I'll be headlining that. You had a, yes, you, that's such a fun room. The Laugh Factory? I never done it. It's fun. I did it once. Yeah, I heard it's like really fun. It's sick. I've only done wow. the Laugh Factory in Chicago, and that was insane. it was it's that was sick. So that room is huge. Also, Chicago. Yeah, Corinne and I went there together when we when I opened for her. You guys at, did. Um, at, yes. Uh, wow. The Improv. No, we weren't working that. We were. She was headlining Improv, but we went there after. In L.A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It, oh, in Chicago, oh, and it was it, the room's ma- it's massive. But, it's, yeah. It looks huge. In there. Yeah, do your okay. Plug. okay, you can follow me on Instagram at Chloe LeBranch and my YouTube, which I post news for women when I'm like not in rehab. But. Is it nudes for women for a second? Nudes for women. <laughs> <laughs> nudes oh, for women are uh, fun. I forgot. I keep forgetting. And then I have a, I have a new podcast called Dre Day Podcast. Oh, on YouTube. Like, I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I have a podcast now. Hey, how do you like the podcasting world now that you're uh, officially doing your own podcast? It's cool. It's cool. It's just I'm producing all of it and doing all that and the that's not the post part. Yeah. and um it's a lot of work yeah but it's worth it yeah it's a lot of, uh, also uh, speaking of a lot of work and doing um, po- uh, producing podcasts Natalie you have anything to plug thank you for producing this podcast I know we were a little hard on you this episode <laughs> I was gonna come um, give you a hug right after are this we hard on it no we usually kind of nice on it. You um you don't mean there just the, follow doped up comedy on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like being mean to people. <laughs> yeah, you're like Lewis now. He's got Lewis energy. Yeah. Where's my clips? Not of it. <laughs> Damn it. This is doped up and dying the Sunday morning smoke show. Guys, we'll see you next time. Now week. you're back. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching the last episode. Please like and subscribe. Follow. And make sure to go to the new YouTube page. Doped Up Podcast on YouTube. We'll give that a follow. We're pushing all the episodes to the Doped Up YouTube page now. So all the new episodes will be up there. Guys, thank you for watching. Hit the bell.